We're back. Welcome to the Back to the Futon episode something <laughs> 49 50 i don't I have, even i should I don't, I don't even know i don't even know where i am right now <laughs> he just, fa- you just called me randomly and i'm like what the hell and then now we're doing a podcast now we're doing a podcast i didn't even warn you we didn't set this up ahead of time <laughs> i was just like hey you want to talk and you're like yeah sounds good and then i just started recording and you're like Whoa, yeah. wait, wait a minute i haven't what? bathed i haven't bathed in like literally like a month so <laughs> this is bad so but it's fine there's some, some spores growing on my chair. You you no pull off not bathing for a month pretty well, I gotta say. <laughs> Dude, all you gotta do is use uh the the gorilla the gorilla snot. The gorilla snot. You, man. What is that? Yeah, it's a hair cream. It's like is that what you juicy use? As hell. Is, it, is it called gorilla snot? It is literally called gorilla snot. Oh man. my I'm god! Telling you. And you could literally you could do anything with it. It's like like ice cubes, but like for hair. Ice cubes and the consistency. The consistency is something you'll be really familiar with. You know what I'm saying? It's very, it's pretty bad. It's like ice cubes? It's like making stomach pancakes, but for your hair. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. Somebody will understand that. Stomach pancakes? You don't understand what I'm talking about. Yeah, what dude. A, what is a stomach pancake? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. It's the it's the cake batter man, you know what I'm saying? It hits your stomach. I think yeah. so. I think I know what you mean. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna nod my head and be like, yeah, I know. I know. Dude, I'm a redneck. We call everything weird stuff. It's it's so. creative. <laughs> it's creative. No, it's because we can't read, oh. so we have to come up with our own stuff. You have to come up with your own language. Yeah. I got That's you. what I do. That makes sense. I know what, that's why I'm like, get on it, dog on it. And everybody's like, who, who would you come up with that? And I'm like, I don't know. I said it when I was like nine. <laughs> like, I don't, <laughs> I've been saying it forever. So. It works. It's your catchphrase yeah. now. Yeah, I didn't mean for that to happen. I just said it in my first video, and now it's forever. There you it's go. Forever. It's like the drinking thing in my videos. It's it's a thing forever now. I always have to have some sort of alcoholic beverage, and if I don't, everybody freaks out. Same. That's ju- I do that without um, with not being on camera. <laughs> you, <laughs> just have, you just have alcohol all the time? <laughs> yeah. I have alcohol right now. Look at this. What do you have? This, I just have some reds, have man, because I'm a girl. I have, I'm a female, you know? <laughs> I have a seltzer water. It's Mandarin. Seltzer water. What is that? One of those those the West Coast things? It's like Lacroix. Uh, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> it's it's just flavored water. It's just flavored sparkling water. Flavored water. Wow. It's good. And I thought I was the girl with the reds. Over I know. Here. I was gonna say. I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I'm not judging you with sparkly, the reds. I got that cucumber Gatorade, son. Watch out. Is that uh-huh. good? That just sounds no! awful. Yeah. No. That sounds. It's like the a worst nightmare. thing ever invented. I, do, I need at least 90 grams of sugar per sip <laughs> or else I'm not happy. I don't need my left foot. Like I don't. Oh, so. God. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I stream and make videos for a living. I don't need feet. Yeah. No, we don't need those. I don't even have them anyway. Yeah, it's true. There's no proof that you have feet. Yeah. That's how I, uh, that's my weight loss video right there. Cut your shin. <laughs> cut off. your, cut your what? feet off. You save a solid five, 10 pounds. Yeah, 30, 30 pounds in tw- in thirty days. You just cut both your feet off. You just slowly work your way up your legs. Yeah, until you get to your sack, and then you got to stop. You got to stop there. That needs to work. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you got to be able to spread your seeds, son. <laughs> Biologically, I got to do that. <laughs> I have to make uh, Genghis Khan proud, son. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I know nothing about Genghis Khan. Don't cancel me, please, God. Uh, yeah, bad? that's. I feel that's, like he's bad. That transition is actually <laughs> fucking perfect. I like how Genghis Khan somehow transitioned <laughs> into Genghis topical Khan. things that are going on right now, where <laughs> every YouTuber is getting canceled or accused of things, and I'm just like, you know, I really would love to be a big YouTuber, but right now I'm really glad I'm not because I don't want to deal with all that stuff. I don't. Yeah. I don't remember every single human react interaction i've had i don't remember um who all i've talked like i don't understand what what kind of things somebody could make up about me and because i delete just so many things on my phone i feel like i'm just gonna like get screwed over someday by being you know uh defamed because that's what's happened to a lot of these yeah. people they're just getting they're getting pointed out for something that they didn't even do did you hear about angry joe yeah like so it's like so, like he just gets allegations and now he's in trouble yeah, and dude, that that could happen to me. Could, like I call, I call, I call people sexy all the time. <laughs> like I'm just somebody will send me like a random, I get a random Twitter message, and it's just like an ass. 
Really? And I'm just like, that's a nice ass. Wow. And I'll be like, okay, heart, don't have heart, face, heart face, heart face, heart face, heart uh, face, cum droplets. And like, I'm like, I don't know. You know, 10 years from now, Camelot, heart face, and cum drop me. Wow. Canceled. I've I've never I've <laughs> never had that happen before. Maybe I don't have to worry about as much as I thought I did. Maybe you do, but I think I'm good. I don't Dude, really... it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming that for first, all of us. That first stream when you get drunk and you take your shirt off, it's over. You take your shirt off all the time, though. It's because I have to. My shirts are tied around <laughs> my boobies, man. <laughs> they don't fit anymore. You also have to because you also made that a thing. I didn't mean to. Yep. It's 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 the people in my stream. They do it to myself. They, they, they're like, oh, you got to do it now. And I'm like, dude, I'm real depressed right now. And I'm not in a good mood. <laughs> I'm just like crying as I take my shirt off. <laughs> what? <laughs> you got to cancel your audience for sexually harassing you. <laughs> they're all canceled now. Yeah. No, dude. Like, I'm not with, I'm not all about cancel culture. I no. think it's terrible. Like, yeah. but, but there's some instances for sure. Where it's different. Yes. Like, okay, you walk out on the on the street and you punch a grandma in the face, okay? Like, I don't like old people, but you can't punch a grandma in the face. No. You should receive consequences for the grandma punch. Now, if you get... If somebody just said you punched a grandma and there's no video evidence and there's no dead grandma, you should not be canceled for it. I agree, but as soon as somebody opens their mouth and says, you did this, you are now guilty until you prove your innocence. Which, which is, is terrifying. The, this is... That's, that's ass backwards. It is. Like... But, like, for example, like, uh, we were talking about Shane Dawson earlier. Yes. Like, before the stream, or the podcast. So, like, Shane Dawson, what he did was real damn creepy. What did he do again, exactly? Who? Okay. So, I, I'm so a little he, lost in all this. Okay, so, um, he did the, the, the worst thing ever, which is apparently fine if you're, like, Jimmy Kimmel or, like, somebody, for some reason, that they, they can do it, but if you're a creator... Um, or certain people for some reason can't do it, but he, he did blackface all the time. What, and, did, what uh, did he do blackface for? It was like, it was like videos. He did, like, he was like doing videos where he was like, had a character, I think, don't quote me on this, but anyways, there's video evidence of it. He, you know, was in blackface, said the N word over and over and over in the uh, skits. That's bad. Yeah. Unless, unless you're Jimmy Kimmel, then it's fine for some reason. But, <laughs> but still, yeah, that happened. And, yeah, that sucks. That sucks. And it was a character. He blah, blah, blah. Should he get canceled for it? I don't entirely believe so. I think the audience should react. And maybe there maybe there can be consequences, like sponsors themselves will pull out or but something like that. how old is the video? How old are these things I have things no idea. It's probably, did? it's probably extremely old. I don't know that's, for sure. That's the thing, because people change over time. There are a lot yeah. of people, I mean, I'm sure there are lots of horrible things that I've said I mean, I still say horrible things all the time, but I, I don't know. It just, it feels like people grow up and mature. I'm sure when you were a kid and a lot younger, if you had documented every single little thing that went through your mind and put all of your dumb skits online that you might've had going around in your head or whatever thoughts you had when you're much younger, I mean, you're an idiot when you're a kid. Yeah. You're an idiot. Oh God. Most of your life, I, I would still consider myself an idiot, but I feel like over time, I'm learning and growing as a person, and I feel like going back in time to basically a different human being and then canceling this current human being for things that did in the past. Now, I'm not saying we shouldn't go back and get people like Bill Cosby. I mean, it doesn't matter right. how long ago that shit was. That shit yeah. actually ruined people's lives, caused trauma, it was fucking terrible, and insane that that happened for so long and then you got away with it for so long i mean that still kind of breaks my brain how many people are like slowly coming out of the woodwork to go look this is actually what happened this is how bad the person is i guess chris delia recently i don't know if you're following that story but he's like a, a comedian and he was talking to a bunch of underage girls i guess i allegedly i don't i don't know if there's any concrete proof right i haven't been following it that closely i know there's like dms and stuff but i feel like dms are super easy to like photoshop so it's kind of hard yeah. to know i don't know it's it's there's definitely like a fine line between like oh they did like a stupid joke like if he was being racist that's one thing like if he was like genuinely like hateful and 
going after black people and stuff like that that yeah cancel his ass but if he's like making oh, i don't know it just it seems like if there's the context is what matters context right. is everything and the if thing the, the thing with shane dawson is there was another thing he did that was also real messed up so, oh no oh no <laughs> yes uh, no, that, I that's why here? I, and that yeah oh dude you now you canceled son oh i'm no. canceled <laughs> damn it so no i didn't finish we like uh so yeah he did the blackface thing and like i said i Not don't necessarily good. think you should be canceled for something that happened a long time ago yeah. even if it's you know despicable as hell you know let the audience react and him lose the subscribers that don't agree with it yep um but there was also this thing it was apparently a video and i haven't seen any of it but apparently there was this video of him like joking, like he was making stomach pancakes. We're going back to the phrase again, you know. Give him, give him the old Willie a whack. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's it, what you meant. I had yeah, never what? heard stomach no. pancakes before. <laughs> I might have made it up. I don't know. But <laughs> he, he was doing that in the video, like to like a uh, like Willow Smith, which when when she was like 11 or something, and he was like, "Yeah, whip your hair back and forth." So that was. That's real damn creepy. Yeah. And there was, there's a lot of things like that. He did a lot of things. And he also made another video where he, like, didn't understand why, like, like people like that, like, had to go to jail. Blah. It was, like, it was what? all jokes, obviously. But it's the worst <laughs> thing to ever joke about. It's the worst. Because I don't find it, I don't find it funny, and I'm, like, laid back as hell, and I find everything damn funny. Oh, my God. But yeah, I, I didn't know that, that part. Stuff. Okay, well, that's... A bit different. Yeah, he's pretty much the. He's, that's the worst you can do without actually going out and punching grandmas in the face. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's why I'm saying he might kind of deserve it. He's like the only person I've ever really thought that might deserve a little bit of that kickback. Uh, you know, aside from people that have actually been canceled. Yeah, um, like Onesia or whatever. What, Onosia, he, Onesia, yeah, that yeah. <laughs> that guy's crazy as hell. I don't care yeah. what the hell he did. He's weird as hell. I saw a picture of him naked in the shower the other day, and I don't want to. I didn't want to. <laughs> How do you just, just keep getting naked photos? <laughs> dude, I was scrolling through a damn page and there he was just standing there being all naked and weird. And what I'm like, page? dude, you ain't sexy. You, he looks like a damn, he looks like a, he looks like Pennywise the Clown without makeup on. Oh, Jesus. Like he's not, he's not attractive, man. What? He doesn't, he what? doesn't look like you. He looks like Pennywise. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, yeah, Shane Pro Dawson probably deserve it. Now, what the hell happened with Dr. Disrespect? I don't know. He says he what doesn't know. Yeah, he don't know either, but there's apparently... Okay, so, okay, so, yeah, film here's my... This is my two theories. Yeah. A, this is all on purpose to try to manufacture a giant publicity stunt so when he comes back in a damn week, he has the biggest numbers he's ever had. That is my my first theory. Second theory um, it has to do with, um, like, assault, like sexual assault. And the reason I say that is because there was somebody recently, I forget, it's, um, what is, what is her name? Samantha Wong, mm -hmm. that was running like a movement on Twitch, and she said there needs to be much harsher consequences for people who do things predatory. Yeah. So, for them to randomly ban his ass, there must have been some kind of crazy evidence. And there was also a girl that was trying to sue Twitch because he did some stuff, and she was okay with their offer until she wasn't, and now like it's all blown up again, and that's why they banned him because Wait, what? they don't want. Yeah, they don't want Fallout because like he cheated on his wife. Like, with yeah, his, oh my god, I remember that? It's, a, it's dude, is there so much stuff going on? I don't even know. I might be making all this up. It's right so easy. Know. It's so easy. Ninety percent <laughs> of these issues, just keep it in your pants. How difficult is that? I really don't understand. Yeah, dude, it's just don't drink. Don't drink. Like well, around, we don't. Around, <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't drink around females. I I don't know. I feel like I can completely control myself. When no, I'm not that. That's not what I mean, damn it. That's not. <laughs> I'm not saying you're just going wild, son. I'm saying, like, don't drink around a female because then she's going to be like, hey, baby, come here. And you're going to be like, hell yeah. And then, like, in a, in a year or two. Oh, I see what you mean. Suddenly, you famous as hell. And then they're like, you know what? I want some of your money. Which, and that's, I mean, that. It's that's so... not. I'm not saying that's what ever happens or that what is is happening, but I'm saying that's possible. <laughs> it does. It does happen for sure. It's 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 happened in the past, and people have been found like guilty of defamation because they did that sort of thing. Right. And that that's so damaging because there's so many people out there that have actually been abused, and when you come up with all this fake bullshit, 
just because you want money, congratulations, you are now screwing over so many people that need to have a voice and need to speak out against certain people, but less people are going to believe you if if that sort of thing happens, if there's constantly fake things being brought out. Well, that just means more people will get away with it because exactly. they're going to look. They're going to take more time to not arrest the person. They're going to take more time investigating, and they're going to need more hardcore proof. Yes, exactly. So and it just hurts. Get just, away with it. It hurts the entire movement. But then again, people are crazy as hell. Yeah. I've dated some people that are crazy as hell, man. Like, like sometimes you be like, "Look, girl, I don't like how your left hip looks, so I'm leaving you." And then they get <laughs> mad at it. And then they're like, you know what? Uh, I'm going to burn your house down. It just happens, man. Except your house is famousness. Yeah. So they burn the fame down. And, I mean, that it, that's entirely possible. And there's those people that exist. So that that makes it harder for legitimate cases to be seen. And, in my opinion, I think there should always, there should always be some kind of investigation. But it should be probably kept private unless it's, like, public knowledge. Yeah. Like... Like, if some random person is just like, hey, this guy did this, and he's famous as hell, it should be like a private investigation until there's some hardcore evidence. Exactly. You can't just be like, okay, they lose their job now, even though it could be false as hell. Yeah. So. And that's, that's you know, happened before. Right. It, it happens all the damn time. Yeah. But, like, Dr. Disrespect, no idea what he did. I think he might have slapped somebody on the ass, and, like, now he's uh, paying for it. But also, I'm thinking, maybe it's a publicity stunt. I don't maybe because it, that'd be a weird that's publicity great. stunt. Dude, you could make a video tomorrow as Fanta and you could be like, I am quitting YouTube. Um so and so random person like said they were gonna kill me and they're gonna come kill me and I'm I'm gonna go in witness protection. And you could you'd be gone for two weeks mm -hmm. and then come back and be like, Oh my gosh, I'm I'm back. You won't believe what happened. And it was all bullshit. And you got fifty uh. K subscribers out of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking is happening. Like, that's like I watched the Jenna Marbles thing, right? And yeah, I was, I was gonna like, ask about that. I don't know. What's yeah, going I was. On. I don't know it was. It was so sad. You know, she doesn't mean to hurt people. She's a good creator. You can generally sense that she's a good person. Yeah. We understand, and she's kind of dealing with the same thing. Did she you know, do the, blackface too? I I think she played a she played Nicki Minaj like the character, and she was just really tan at the time. So technically, it's blackface because she was playing yeah. with that character. But the thing is, like, should she be canceled for that? Hell no. Yeah. I mean, she's not trying to hurt damn people. And, but, what did she do? She's like, I'm out of here. I yeah, quit that YouTube. Was, do you think she's not actually quitting? you think she's going to come Dude, back? Dude. No, in two weeks, she's going to be like, uh, I'm back. Giant news. It's going to get 20 million views. And she's going to make like 800 grand in one, one pop, dude. I'm telling you, son. It's It's possible. <sighs> Next, tomorrow morning, you're going to see it. Camelot 331, upload a new video. And it's going to be like, I quit. <laughs> YouTube. Allegations. It's going to be a new trend. Everyone's just going to quit. <laughs> Go up to 300k subs. Come back a week later. Oh, uh, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. I'm innocent. Everything's fine. The guy, the guy died. The, the guy <laughs> that threatened to be died. It's, it's good. The guy died. It's fine. It was Review Tech USA. He, he was behind all of it. <laughs> Review Tech USA was threatening to murder me. Damn it, Rich. He's dead now. He'll make a video about him dying yeah. somehow. I don't know how he's going to make a video about him dying. But he'll come yeah. back later and be like, just kidding. I resurrected. We're all good now. He keeps just sending me cucumbers in the mail. Pretty <laughs> yeah. sure it's harassment. Yeah. So, like, yeah. I don't know. Nah, dude, it's crazy, man. Like, I, I'm just trying to have fun. Yeah. And, like, be myself. And because I'm generally, I generally try to do what's right. And I try to take care of the people that, like, hang out with me in streams. It's pretty and easy I try to, to not be a shitty person. Right. And that's that's the scary part is what happens when there's an allegation and you did, you're not, you didn't do anything. That's just yeah. the scary part. And I'm just waiting. <laughs> <laughs> waiting patiently. I, I feel like everybody probably is. If you have, like, any sort of following on anything, it could be a damn newspaper publication. It could be anything. Like, I'm just, like, people on social media have so much weight with what they say and they shouldn't mm -hmm. they shouldn't like like everybody deserves a voice but like every you can't just like one person can't just say something and then like like that that other person that's it's, it's disparaging against is just canceled forever i don't know dude i think the media has more power right now than it has ever had even close to in the entire like history of human history um the, the media 
all of media and like because media has all of like our mainstream media we used to see all the time now you see pop it up all over damn twitter and youtube and and oh why did this video get 22 million views in one day and like why does this why does this media company have 40 million subs like no they bought all that yeah like they bought all of it man well plus i mean they can get away with lots of things i guess they're the only creators that can get the verified check mark now isn't that what you said like only commercial entities can do it now so yeah so this is what happened last september youtube announced that they were not going to certify people anymore users they were only going to certify companies why because companies uh they said they want to be distinguished from normal creators because normal creators are just normal people and companies spend millions of dollars so they deserve it that's what youtube Um, is though youtube not yeah it's not damn corporate tube yeah even though it is but it's not supposed to be no No, jimmy kimmel tube (laughs) oh my gosh it's like it's like late night with like Jimmy Fallon and I'm like oh cool and I click on the video and it has a hundred million views in like four seconds and I'm like alright dude you ain't you ain't slick son yeah but no um yeah so I uh I, I, I hit 100k in February right and dude I'm so I was so excited I'm like oh I got the damn plaque thing yeah, and I was like dope. man that's fine and all I'm that's cool but I was like dude I want that check mark so bad because the reason I want it is because I want to jump into smaller creator streams like there's this one guy I follow, and he has like 5k subs maybe, mm-hmm. and I and I like watching his streams while I edit, and I would love to like type and ch- talk on the chat, and he sees the check mark, and he knows that his content is good enough for, you know, people that have technically like made it to like mm-hmm. enjoy his content. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that's what I thought when I when I saw somebody that subscribed to me when I was at 20k that had like 400 or 500k, I was like, oh god, why are they watching me? Like, right? is it actually decent content? So. That's cool, and I would I want people to be able to see that their their content is good enough for people to enjoy it, and you can't do that. And I, I messaged uh, YouTube like two weeks ago, and I do it every month. And I'm like, dude, what's going on? <clears throat> I've seen people get their check mark in like three days or a week. Celebrities get it day one because they're celebrities, and like they get all that like. And I was like, what's going on? It's been four months, and they said they're no longer verifying anybody. Um until like november when they're back on their offices apparently because you know the end of the world's coming how, how is and working like, from home stopping them from just clicking a button to give you that's what i said man so i'm like dude stupid. you're you're at home on your computer yeah right and you're, what's at the office is your computer as well like what you just do the thing to do the click thing yeah i'm over the i've hit the 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 eligibility options are the requirements every one of them and i'm like just click the damn thing just do it but I don't, it just it it makes you feel like you're like you're official, I guess. I don't know, man. Yeah, I was bummed out about that, but that's what my theory is: is they're just not going to do it anymore, and they're just gonna because they said they wasn't last September, and then people got pissed, so they're like, never mind. But I feel like they're not announcing it; they're just rolling it out slowly, so no one notices. I, I think just like with everything, you just can't keep quiet about it. You just got to keep badgering them about it. You got to keep annoying them and you got to just keep going like, hey, this is bullshit. Why does corporation, why are corporations and celebrities getting better treatment than people on YouTube? I mean, there are lots of YouTubers that you could consider celebrities at that point. You know what I mean? Right. So yeah. and, why do well, TV people get check marks and the people on your platform that grew big from your platform yes not get any respect that doesn't make any sense the mob is coming for us man like the mob is coming for each and every one of us and they're not going to be happy until the platform is literally only celebrities and only news stations and nba and nhl that's all they care about it because nba can can give the platform 10 million dollars per quarter to have their stuff featured and trending is there every nba they stuff? could easily do that oh yeah well there's an nba channel like our and the WWE channel. I remember going to the trending one time, and there was like three WWE videos that had less than 10k views on trending. That's the point. They can put that money forth because YouTube's such a big platform now. I mean, it's bigger than cable, man. No, it's huge. They can put all that money forth, and it completely destroys anything that they would ever benefit from pushing me. I mean, what are they gonna make off me? Like 20k a year off ad revenue, maybe 30 a, per year. Like they they can make 10 million dollars a quarter on WWE instantly. Yeah. And with one payment. That's all. That's it. And that's what's happening. Um, and I think it's kind of going the opposite direction because, you know, I've noticed the spike. Everybody's noticing a spike right now. 
and it's because of that that executive order that was signed in that people like that uh public like platforms like social media can't push certain like things just arbitrarily hmm. makes it illegal really um, yeah so all of a sudden like four days after that like executive order i looked at this trending tab and it's like review check usa and you know, all kinds of crazy shit and i was like oh god well suddenly it changed and even though everybody said they weren't doing that and all of a sudden like shit. users are just all over trending and i'm like yeah that's what i thought no um but they can pay for it man and there's well, why would youtube want to make 30 to maybe 20k off me per year when they can make 40 million off wwe for free all they gotta do is put it in trending like yeah. i mean what would i what would you do i'd do it if I if I was YouTube CEO, I'd be like, hell yeah, I'll take you hundred million, son. I they're just Camelot's needs. a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Screw that guy. They're just I don't know I don't know why you can't have both. You know what I mean? Like why can't you also promote the smaller creators and have why not have two trending tabs? How about that? You have like yeah, creators, creators and then yeah, yeah corporate yeah. creators. That's and true. Yeah, why not? I guess because it 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 differentiates and makes makes it look like they're selling out. I would never when, ever click that corporate tab. Yeah, no one would. That's just the point, man. No one would. Trend it. Oh yeah, let's go to the let's go to the the paid for one. No, no. Yeah. And why? And that's Though not fair because. Yeah, like that's not fair because creators, if they do ads like for their videos, there's like a giant paid for sponsor and it says ad and it's in like big le like yellow letters so you know they pay for it. Mm -hmm. Those companies don't have that, even though that's what they're doing. They're paying for it. Yeah. How do you think GameStop got to 80k subs, bro? They bought all that. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Their their videos get like seven views per video. Well, they forced all their employees to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace. Oh my gosh. Oh god. That was a good time to be alive back when we were battling GameStop for subs. Yeah. That was fun because we smashed them. <laughs> it was like David and Goliath. Multi million dollar corporation can't keep up with Cody. In my chair. That's all I got. Just, just Cody one, in his chair. One man. day I'll pass him. One day. You'll eat easily, dude. You every single day you get closer because they're not gaining. They're not <laughs> just standing still. <laughs> They've like haven't like gained a hundred subs in like six months. So. Oh my god. Yeah. So yeah, all you gotta do is just keep that? going. Huh? What do they even put on that channel? It's like creepy stuff from a uh, GameStop TV. Oh. It's like real creepy. It's like my name's Jennifer and welcome to the game of the week. I'm an unpaid intern and I've never been behind a camera. It's like, okay, enjoy that. Yeah, the new game is called Red Dead Redemption, and you get to play as a cowboy. And I'm like, dude, can you, like, laugh once or something? <laughs> like, I, I don't know, man. Like, it's just terrible. It's this, You remember? You remember GameStop TV? It's awful. I remember yeah, Captain weird, Redbeard. Uh, dude, I like... I, dude, I, man, I like Captain Redbeard. He was... Because he was, like, personality, uh, personality driven. Even though he got annoying as hell, because I had to listen to him all day. He but was, as soon as fake personality driven it felt like yeah it yeah but still forced. but still he wasn't just reading a damn teleprompter that's true i mean he was he was but he was doing it in a, a, a nice colorful way and as soon as store managers went to hourly you best damn believe he was gone and uh what's the what's the lady's name that started the power up program there was some what was it a manager that started the power program? no she was she was like an executive and she her name i have a picture with her like from every year i went she had like a red she has she had like red hair I can't remember her name. She started the power-up program. She was the one that designed it. Really? And it's and she was, like, really good friends with Redbeard because their home store was, like, Redbeard's home store. Oh. So he started doing the GameStop TV, and as soon as she announced she was resigning, like, a month later, Redbeard didn't do TV anymore. And I thought he quit. And then, of course, around the same time, store managers went hourly. And I was like, I guess he quit. And then I went to conference, like, three months later, and there he was. Oh, wow. So he just wasn't on TV anymore, but he was still a manager? Yeah. He was in, like, a wheelchair because he broke his leg. And I was oh. like, what the, why are you not on TV anymore? And he, he, like, looked at me and laughed and said politics. And I was like, oh, okay. Oh. So, and he wasn't getting paid anything to be on the TV, by the way. Really? Yeah, he wasn't getting paid anything. Yeah, I talked to him at conference. He got paid nothing for that. Well, that was free labor. How did they get away with doing that sort of stuff? Is it just because they already he's an pay employee him. already? Yeah, they already pay him a salary, technically. That's so messed up. I... Now they got the unpaid interns that are creepy uh, as hell. Yeah, you go, think... go, go watch the YouTube channel. You'll see what I mean. It's creepy as hell. I would say they should oh. invest in the YouTube channel. 
But they don't have any money, so I guess they can't. Well, do that, that. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> they don't like to invest in technology because everybody in the, the all the executives are like seventy year old white dudes. Yeah, it doesn't make any. And they're sense. like, we're gonna change the company with our ideas, and I'm like, you're seventy. Yeah, you don't know what you're talking about. What are you about? talking about? You don't even know. You 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 t you asked your granddaughter how to use the Facebook. Like, you don't know what the hell the you're doing. Facebook. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. No, like the other day, um, they have a Twitch channel, and uh, they were live. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to tweet out the Twitch channel. So I, <laughs> so I tweet out the Twitch channel. I saw that. Now, <laughs> what happened? And I'm like, let's go party, son. So we go in this stream. And I don't know if it's still up. You could probably go. It might, the replay might be there. They might. They probably deleted it. But we went ham in the chat. And I didn't say anything negative. All I did was when the big daddy, she's playing Bioshock. When the big daddy was running at her, I was like, man, you must have said no to that reserve. And like, because <laughs> the big daddy was pissed as hell. And like... And everybody in the chat was just going ham. And there was no one in the chat, by the way, before we got there. It was zero people. But they really? have 500 viewers. Yeah, they have 500 viewers. And like a million followers. Because they paid for all of it. I thought with was, just m money. Isn't that against the rules? Like, you're not allowed to pay for followers uh, or viewers? It is technically, but I mean, it's a corporate company, so they can probably get away with it. Uh, I mean, you you ever notice how some channels have a million subscribers and their videos get like five views? Come on. Yeah, that's true. It's it's it, as long as they pay that check, they're fine. No, but we were in there and we went ham, and there was people getting banned left and right. And as soon as the chat was hopping, son, I mean it was hopping. <laughs> there was a lot of people in there. Um, the people started getting banned left and right, and I was like, well, I'm next, obviously. They never banned me huh. because I knew I knew if they would have banned me, it would they would probably thought it would have gave me ammunition. I would have made a video. video. I got banned nah, by GameStop I, on. Twitch. I might have. You, I might you have. Would've. You would have. It'd have been hilarious. It would have been no. great. <laughs> But, no, they banned everybody else. And when the streamer, which is not her fault, she's she's just a normal streamer that they contracted out and, like, oh, okay. she's on the platform. But um, her name's Picklin. She's a good streamer. Um, but she's on, it just happened she was streaming for GameStop. And, um, you know, we made that clear. Hey, it's not about you. It's about me. And I was and I was just in there chilling. I wasn't being mean or anything. I just wanted to see what happened. Well, my followers was crazy as hell. So they went in there and went crazy. They went ham as hell, got banned. And then, like, when she noticed what was going on, like, because everybody was like, Camelot in the chat. Camelot. Oh, my God. Camelot. And uh, when they noticed, when she noticed what was happening, they stopped the stream. She was like, uh, I got to. And she was just, like, on her phone for, like, five minutes. And then she just cut the stream off. Oh, so. man. GameStop corporate <laughs> contactors. Camelot is in the building. Camelot is in the building. Do not ban like, him. Do not mess Dude. with him. Just yeah, they're screaming at the mods. Don't it. say anything, please, God. <laughs> and I'm just in here laughing and cutting up. I don't even give a damn. Oh, that's I so thought good. it was funny. I thought it was hilarious. It, I wonder oh. if the replay is on there. That would say, be you should have you should have filmed all of that with like OBS or something. That'd have been hilarious. <laughs> just the whole thing going on, the chat, yeah. the, the person freaking out and having to cut it. Oh man, that'd have been gold. I might hold on. Let's see if let's see game stop. Oh, I bet they banned my ass though after the fact. You know. I think if they ban you, though, it doesn't stop you from being able to see the... Uh... Oh, shit. Oh, damn. It's playing. Oh, okay, hold on. Um, oh, it's it's totally still up. Oh, really? God. Yeah. I need to see this. I need to see this. It, it's called Bioshock Remastered, and it's okay. just from five days ago. No, it's funny, man. It's the chat, because it, it replays the chat, too, I think. So it's it does. Fun it does. Ah, in gold. That's oh, my God. gold. I can't believe they left that up. Yeah. Yeah. Pickling. I'm going to download that stream tonight before, before this uh, podcast comes out. <laughs> I can't let them know, son. It was funny. No, it was all for fun. And, you know, obviously there were some people being mean in the chat. That's just how it is. But, yeah. you know, it was the normal, hey, oh, you must have said no to the power car because uh, here comes the splicers. It's funny. I see all the get on it, dog on it, GameStop, <laughs> Camelot 331. Make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs> oh, Lord, son. Yeah, it's funny. It was a good time, um, and I did. I was. It was just random, but no, it was funny. Um, oh, that's so good. No disrespect to the streamer at all. She's. A, she, I followed her and everything, but no, it's. Uh, it was weird because they had 500 viewers, but no one in the chat for like an hour, and then I joined, wow. which means they're just paying for it, which is fine, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Fake viewers, man. No, um, but yeah, so. That's that's kind of goes along with my point is you know corporations can pretty much do anything because they have money, um, but for some reason some corporations can't make any more of it. Like, for example, um, corporate GameStop corporate announced 
Friday or Thursday, my co my contact messaged me. Um, and I don't even think I'm making a video about it. I'm not. But uh, they said all of corporate is not getting their, their bonuses this year. And they've never not got them. Oh, my they God. Said, yeah, they said corporate's not giving bonuses out to anybody. And, and I'm talking about inside corporate. Like the corporate employees are not getting any bonuses. Um, the only people that are getting bonuses are directors and executives this year. Of course they are. Of course they are. <laughs> that was what was supposed to get cut, not the people in the offices, the people that were the executives in the board. I mean, that's why those investors wanted to get on the board to get rid of all of their bonuses. They wanted to cut all of that. They wanted to cut how much they were getting paid because they're obviously getting overpaid. And it's like, why, why is that not happening yet? What happened to yeah, that's Project the, Restore GameStop? It has nothing to do with the betterment of the company or the betterment of the associate. Never has. It's just jump on the CEO spot, get twenty million, a twenty million dollar bonus for four years or five years, and drop. You made one hundred and fifty million dollars, and you can sell your stock, which the CEO owns one point six million shares of GameStop stock, George wow. Sherman. So. I mean, he's going to make over $100 million off GameStop. And people are like, well, I mean, you can't, if you don't make the company better, you won't make any money. It's like, dude, he's already made $150 million. doesn't matter. <laughs> it's over. Yeah. He makes, he made more than what the company profited in one of their peak years. Wow. <laughs> and he's a guy. <laughs> yeah. So that's, the, that's the thing. Um, it's never about the betterment of it. I mean, why do you think when, as soon as Lowe's CEO, Marvin came on board, as soon as he came on board, he cut like half the damn positions in the company and pay that people have been getting. He cut like 30 grand off some people's checks that oh were making like a hundred grand a year, dropped them down to like 60 through various programs. And, and, and their stock price started to go up because they're saving millions and millions of dollars all not paying their associates anymore. Well, they should just so. save the millions by not paying the CEO and the executives. Right. And there's they they don't require a mask in their stores. They're supposed to have less than twenty five people or something. And like a guy messaged me today and said there's like a thousand people in a store and there's like forty people in line and everybody's right beside each other. No one has masks on. I mean they and don't what give state a damn. Is that? I don't know what state he's in. Because um, this this state um, right now they passed an ordinance that if you don't wear a mask and you get caught by a cop, you pay like a fifty dollar fine and you have to do five hours of community service. Jesus. Well, I, I don't know. It's there's probably like three states that probably have something similar to that. Um, I don't know if it's in one of those states. Um, I think he's probably from the southeast, like I am. Mm. So the southeast is so well. Specifically, my state is so low when it comes to cases that they don't even talk about that kind of stuff here. Have you heard about my state? Oh, I bet it's destroyed right now. <laughs> it's you're in, so, you're it's in, the what? worst. I'm in Arizona. in Arizona. Yeah, it is oh, yeah. one of the worst states we had. I think it was today. Or yesterday, the biggest spike ever. I think we're at like fifty thousand cases or something like that. Yeah. Or it might have spiked another fifty thousand or something like that. There was some yeah. crazy number. It's not good here. Yeah. And there's still it's, people that try to get away with not wearing a mask and shame dude, people for wearing a mask. It's like fuck you. Yeah. It's a. Uh, it's it's just not. It doesn't exist here, man. I mean, I mean, it, I mean, it does in a very small portion, but I mean. Everyday life is very normal here. Like you can go out anywhere, a hundred percent of people don't have masks on, hundred mm. percent. Um, cases don't go up at all. Like out of there was a thirteen state increase. Like report came out like two days ago. We weren't even on it. And I've seen like one person with a mask ever that wasn't an employee at a store. I wear I wear a mask. I went to Talladega and I wore a mask the entire time. That's smart because you're, I was around a lot, a lot of people, but I don't go anywhere else. Like that's the first time I've a actually been in public. Well, besides so, the gym. Yeah. Right. And but my gym, dude, ain't no no one wears a mask in my gym. And it's like literally 20, 22 to 30 year old meatheads that are all the size of buildings. And they probably only only go to the gym too. So Yeah. Yeah. Do they but, always um, clean all the equipment after every Oh yeah. yeah. I dude, I've sanitized everything, but I don't know. I I haven't tried it at the gym. I, I mean if they passed something or said they would, I had to, I don't have a problem with it. But gosh, dude, when I do an hour of cardio and I'm like oh, dying, yeah, I don't even know how I'd, I would probably pass out and black out and die. Yeah, I, I feel like masks at a gym would be kind of impossible. Yeah, it may be. Um, I don't know. I don't want to like, it's no one there like wears them and I don't know. I, I 
there I've been thinking about what like because there's there's a possibility that it could happen and I don't have any problem with doing it um I, but if I go anywhere else I wear one it's just the gyms like I don't get close to anybody at the gym like yeah. like I get within like maybe seven feet of somebody maybe once um and our every single piece of gym equipment is social like distanced so like they're spread out at a certain amount and only you can only use half the machines and half of the cardio equipment like the other they, they like rem- removed everything else so everything's so far away from each other oh wow so i mean That's they're they're, they're taking that. their steps but apparently like an estimated 40 million people already had the virus yes yeah, like supposedly before, yeah before it even like was common knowledge it was a thing i really hope i had it already I really do. I was so sick, like, in November. Like, I was, like, coughing and sneezing for, like, a week and a half, and it was I terrible. I don't think it was here in November. I think it started happening here around late February. Right. Well, that's when they started documenting it. That's true. The, the so report February from 40 million... Be... Yeah, the, the point... The report from the 40 million was six months prior to us talking about it. It was, like, in oh, wow. August and October and stuff. Um, I think. I don't know. But I, I might have already had it, dude. I was sick as hell recently, but it wasn't like fluish. It wasn't fluish. It was like coughing, sneezing, like for like a week and a half. I was in Miramar, California, in very early March, like before it started becoming a huge thing everywhere, and before they started having masks, and before they closed out everything. And I mean, Miramar is where they had people quarantined. Yeah, and I was there. So maybe I had it already. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, that's the thing. There's so many people that don't have any symptoms at all. And then there's people that have extreme symptoms and wind up on a ventilator. And yeah. their ages just completely spanning all of those. Yeah. You know, it's it's crazy. Did your, did your ass hurt at any moment? My ass did not hurt at any moment. That's one of the symptoms. You might be safe. Is it really? Do you suffer from severe depression? <laughs> no. Well, that, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> it's like I feel some kind of something spicy on my hole, man. It's like, no, that's just because you ate hot wings and then you wiped with your fingers. No, you're fine. Your ass hurting is are you fucking with me here? No, no, I'm saying if that was you. No, dude, this one time this was kinda of related but kinda of unrelated. This one time I was eating hot wings that were ghost pepper, okay? Mm-hmm. And it was delicious. And I was smashing them, dude. My hands were juicy. And then I washed my hands. No big deal, but it's ghost pepper. And I went to pee early, like later, and I was like touching my junk, you know, because, you know, when you're drunk, you like to touch your junk a little bit. And I was I was peeing. And I came back and sat down, and like slowly this intense burn built, like on my junk. And I realized what had happened. And it was like excruciating. Oh my God. What do you even do in that moment? Dude, I was like panicking. So I like ran downstairs and like soaked a, 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 a rag in milk. And like tied it around my junk, like a knot <laughs> around my junk. And I was like, I had a house party and I was at the house and I, it was my house. And I just walked around with my junk in like this sling. It was close friends. It was cool. Wait, so you just, wait, wait, you didn't have any pants on? You just walked around? No, dude. The- I had my junk out. In the, it was in the sling. It was like six, six of my dude's friends and their girlfriends. We were just watching movies and drinking. That's- and they've all seen my junk before. It's How? Tiny. I mean, they probably didn't see it. They probably didn't realize it because it's so little. But I'm not saying, like, you know. <laughs> no, I mean, like, how did they see it before? You're like, ah, they've seen it before. You know, we're those. They were that friend group that when we go swimming, somebody gets pants and oh, they steal their I boxers and stuff. Yeah, that was me. I was the guy that got his boxer stolen. Oh, you just got pants all the time. Yeah, dude. And I would just eventually, I just let it happen, and then it was, like, everybody's like looking at my junk. I'm just like, whatever, dude. <laughs> You're the only one. <laughs> yeah. You're just the only one naked in the pool. Everyone else has a swimsuit on. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> no, nah. no, nah, man. It was it, it was burning. It was burnt. It burnt so bad. It was terrible. God. How no. long would that sort of thing last? I heard it like reactivates with water. So like it was like fifty. You... It was like fifteen minutes. Oh, okay. The milk killed it, man. Oh, okay. That's good. It destroyed it. <laughs> the milk, dude. If you ever get a burn on your junk, I'm telling you, milk. Just and I'm milk. not talking about like a, a fire burn. If you get your junk in like a cotton a, a fireplace, then yeah, you're screwed. Yeah. But like, milk's not gonna do anything at that point. <laughs> <laughs> hot wings. It's the hot wing juice. That's what the, you gotta the cure. Capsaicin. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But no. Yeah. It was a good time. It was a good time to be alive. Did we talk about? The, um, all the next console stuff the last time, I think the PlayStation five. Yeah. That was revealed 
Yeah. After I streamed it. It was one. awesome. Yeah, me too. Dude. <laughs> Did you see Goodbye Volcano High? Oh my god. That was the Oh my god. Thing. It looked like it looked like Tiny like designed it. Like oh my gosh. I was like why is it this was, in a PlayStation 5? It's contest? furry propaganda is what it is. It's furry propaganda. <laughs> we had Ratchet, we had Goodbye Volcano High, we had the Stray Kitty game. Oh yeah. We had that that one creepy fruit game where the fruits were running around, fruit and he snacks. had wieners. Or yeah, he had snacks. wieners, wieners for arms. He had wieners. He's like, hey, I have wieners for arms. And uh, there were so many furry things How in was that, that a reveal. Furry game though, was that a? Were they anthropomorphic people? I don't know what the hell they were. One guy had wiener arms. <laughs> well, he had hot dog arms, and he dropped something. I don't remember. No, it was that that whole reveal was just paid for and like bought by furries. By the the furry fandom. Congregate. It's a, it's a dangerous fandom. It's, it's a dangerous da- fandom. <laughs> Dude, I've been to furry conventions, man. I, I saw that video. <laughs> yeah. I went to the... Oh, my God. This is terrible. And people come up and hug you and stuff, and they smell real bad. Yeah, yeah. dude. I don't know how you got talked into that. <laughs> it was kind of fun. Like, it was just, you know, the camaraderie of, like, so many people in a convention. It's stuff that you miss now. That oh, you yeah, feel true. like you're never going to see again. Because I was going to go to... I was so excited for VidCon. And I didn't even get to go. Oh, yeah. the That's funny. There's a, a conference I go to here called the Game On Expo. I go there every year. It's in August. Not not going to happen this year. Yeah. And that the way it, The way it seems is it's just going to go... It's just going to be like this forever. I, I don't know if it's going to go on forever. I mean... There's already been things called like the PAX flu, where everybody gets yeah. sick after PAX, and I'm yep. sure everybody gets sick after E3 because you're all smashed in a tiny area with like a billion people. Concrud. Yeah, just constant. I tried to come up with a equally good name, couldn't do it. But um, <laughs> yeah, it just it seems like I feel like it's just gonna be another thing that you can get if you go to a con. Right. I mean, there, there's going to be a point, man. Like, we're free people and stuff. There's going to come a point to where we're going to be like, look, it's been two years. Like, You think it's going to go on for another two years? Uh, Okay, okay. So, this, this is the way I look at it. And, like, I think we should be reactive. But mm-hmm. it's been politicized so much. Yep. It's, just, it's almost just a political point now. politicized. Right. But this is, like, outrageous. And I feel like... It's going to be continually, like, exploded as far as proportions. I mean, we it should be something we're concerned with and something we are very aware of. But it'll be the forefront of the news cycle until, you know, until the election's over, in my opinion. Um, because, I mean, it's just, there's going to be constant, it, just hammering it in until the election cycle is over. And as soon as it's over, it's going to dwindle away. You think? Um not not the virus. It ain't going. It ain't going to dwindle away. I'm talking about like the, the media talking about it so much. The reason, the reason, um, the reason everybody's you know freaking out about it and so worried about it is because a lot of people that I mean that's all they talk about on on every damn it's social true. media site. Yeah. Every every tweet tweet I see. Every news site or news um publication. That's all they talk about right now. So every normal. You know, bodied person like uh, are going to be terrified of it. Um, you, you know, I think it actually. I think the the Black Lives Matter protests have actually eclipsed the coronavirus a little bit. It did, and for some reason, the CDC came out and said it's fine to protest. And I'm like, hold up now, <laughs> hold up. There were some guys in Michigan that were protesting some some dumb crap with guns, and yep. everybody was mad about them because COVID. And then as soon as uh, soon as all uh, this stuff is our habit, it's all of a sudden it's okay. No, no, everybody's susceptible to the virus. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's politicized. Um, but I don't know. I feel like it'll it'll slowly dwindle away. And as soon as the media stops talking about it, then it's gonna be like it's gonna be like a, a normal flu thing, and it's gonna. People will get it, and then they won't get it because people die from the flu every year. People die from different ailments every year. Um, and like I said, like reiterating, it's definitely something we should be aware of and something we should, I mean, you should wear your mask. You need to do your part. Yeah. But as soon as like the, the election cycle is over, the media won't really care to talk about it anymore. What do so, they want to talk about after? I have no idea, but I mean, it's the, 
there's something else that comes along. I mean, they talked about one thing for like three years straight until this happened. What did they um, talk about for three years straight? Like every media was talking about like Russian meddling and stuff. Oh, Remember that? Oh yeah. Like for like three years, and like I don't really follow it. I don't care about politics or politicians. I th- I don't like I don't like the left and I don't like the right. They're like no. I don't like I like certain values every single like position holds. Like like when I tell people that I like this, they're like, "Oh, you're a conservative." And I'm like, "Well, I like this." And they're like, "Oh, you're a liberal." And I'm like, "No, I just there's just different things." It's I called co- being I go, a logical person. If you're a logical well, clear-headed person, you're probably an independent and you don't side with either of them. Right. It's 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 what George Carlin said. If you go into it with a completely open mind, and you you don't really just pick sides f- just for the reason of picking sides, you actually could see things things a lot clearer, for like sure. than normal people do. You can see when the left is lying, and you can see when the right is lying, which is ninety nine percent of the time on both sides. Yeah. Um, I mean, because I mean, you got, you know, you'll have, you know, the right saying openly goofy ass racist stuff, and you'll have the <laughs> left, you'll have the left doing goofy ass racist stuff, and no one cares. Yeah. Like. But if you're on the right, they care. If you're on the left, you don't care. It like, goes back to Jimmy Kimmel. Um, <clears throat> for example, that video what did he of do like. Again? He did the blackface and was saying the N word all the time. I, like on the man show. Oh, I, what, that's um, like years old, ago. That's a really yeah. old show, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but the thing is, like, like, there was like, I don't like, I don't like politicians. Like, no. I don't like, like, I don't like Donald Trump. Nope. He's he's a narcissist. He's he's, but he knows what he's doing. Let's be honest. He knows what he's doing, and he's getting there for no damn reason. Like, and I don't like Joe Biden nope. because he's creepy as hell, and he touches people, and he openly they both says, touch people. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But he like, but it's on camera, man. Like when, yeah, when Biden, uh, he didn't even care that the camera was there. He's just like, let me get all up in them guts. And I'm like, what are you doing, dude? No, um, and he's like, I don't know, man. He I like kids so, jumping on my lap. I like him touching my hairy legs. My hairy legs. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> you freaking crazy bastard! No, like they're both so bad and they're like. Awful. How did how did that happen? How did we get to the point oh where God. all it's... of the candidates are awful? Do you remember? Okay, I was watching Epic Rap Battle. Do you remember? Do you remember that channel? Yeah, yeah. They did way back when it was like Romney versus Obama. It was like the shiniest of two turds. It's like yeah. Okay, let's go back to that because that was a much better decision yeah. back then. Which oh even then I was like not super happy about the candidates, but now I'm like, let's go back. They that's that's so much better. Both of yeah, those candidates are happened? better, dude. Like they would just get Obama or like Mitt Romney behind closed doors saying something that kind of didn't add up to their like viewpoints or something something yeah. small and it'd yeah. be like some big story a video came out about biden two days ago saying the n-word like 50 times on camera no one cares hard er oh no my one cared God. no one cared and like i trump, didn't even hear about that trump like post damn pictures of him eating mexican food and he's like i love mexicans i'm like what are you doing dude like <laughs> i like, remember just, that the taco yeah. bowl <laughs> Yeah, and they're like, let's be honest. Like, in my opinion, politics are just there for my entertainment. Like, <laughs> and I, I, I told somebody that I don't care about politics. Like, I just don't care. Like, unless it directly like impacts my life mm-hmm. in like a negative way. Like, oh, you have to pay one hundred percent taxes. I'd be like, I, I don't like this anymore. Yeah. But like, and don't get me wrong. Like, certain movements need to exist and yep. exist for a reason. Equality is something we should always strive for. Like. The thing that happened with George Floyd, un- un- unbelievable. It's insane. Like that guy, the the cop should they should do the same to him in the, in the street. I agree. Like, and there were like five like, people watch or five other cops that were just standing there with their hands yeah. in their pockets, just doing nothing. Like what the fuck? And they deserve to to have the the wrath of God that abides on them. But yeah. like, and I feel like most people will most normal people agree with that. Um, but that's my they though that though movements need to ex- like need to exist to further progress in those things. And I agree with that. And I feel like most people do like, yeah. but like when it comes to just politics in general, like I just don't care. It's like a giant football game and I don't like either damn team, mm-hmm. but it's also fun to watch them throw the damn football and fumble it a few times. So that's, that's what it exists for me. And I, I tweeted that out once and I was like, look, I don't care about politics. I don't like the left or right. They're both. If you can't see that they're both so damn corrupt, then you, you ain't paying a damn attention. Um, you're just too blinded by your own loyalty to, or disloyalty to someone. Um, 
But I tweeted that out. I was like, I don't care about politics. It's mainly just for entertainment. And somebody was like, the fact that you don't care about politics means you don't care about people because you have to do your part and vote and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, dude, I don't got any damn nothing. I'm a free person. I'm a free human being, son. I can laugh at the damn president if I want to. And I can also laugh at damn Joe Biden if I want to. Because... Like, if you could say, if Joe Biden does something stupid, I could say, ha ha, he's dumb as hell. And then they'll be like, well, uh, somebody will instantly respond to that comment and be like, oh, well, you do know Trump is also stupid as hell. And I'm like, yes. Yes, they're all stupid. That doesn't, that doesn't mean he's not stupid either. Like, <laughs> dude, I don't know how we got to this point. Like, can I don't you either. believe, like, last, okay, last time we had Trump and Hillary. Okay, ready? We have Trump and Hillary. Okay, Hillary. Also awful. <laughs> ter- ter- Hillary's terrifying. Let's just be yeah, honest. Yeah, 100%. If, uh, I see her on camera and I like look around for sniper like tracers. I'm like terrified. She scares the hell out of me. She's so intimidating, man. Which is kind of cool too, but she's scary. Mm. Um, and then Trump. <laughs> Trump. The only thing we knew about Trump is he's rich as hell. Yeah. He little. He he's you know he's weird, but he's rich as hell, so he's probably gonna be a little weird. And um, he was in Home Alone too. And he bullied people in every debate, yeah. and it was hilarious. And he was hilarious, and <laughs> it that's was why so I think, funny. Yeah, he like he they literally said you don't like you called women's fat cows blah 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 and he's like no I called Rosie O'Donnell that and I'm yeah. like, <laughs> like that's the, that's why he got elected because he's because he like literally he was quick he's quick man yeah like the memes were um, on point with him the memes man the memes Jim and is a mess that, yeah that <laughs> that election cycle was so bad yeah it was awful. it was like the worst thing I've ever seen but it was kind of funny to watch like I said it's entertainment for me like I don't have a stake in this like. I don't care about either side. They're both corrupt, so it doesn't really matter. And we watched the DNC literally edge out Bernie. Yeah, the, and Debbie Washerman Schultz, she had to resign because she openly conspired against the Bernie campaign. Yep. Openly. With everyone. So she stepped down. You know what happened two years later? She got reelected in her district again. What? No one cares. Oh, my God. No one cares. What no, that's joke. why it's, it, it's all it's all corruption. You gotta and burn no it one, all down, start again. That's what I always say. No one that ever cares that could ever make a difference will ever get in power because they'll get killed before they will. That's how it works. You think? Like, oh yeah, definitely not. No one, you, dude, I'm just saying, like if, I, I kind of believe the age old saying that if voting mattered, um, it would be illegal. Mm. Um, that's, that's kind of, I mean, I mean, I do vote. I voted for, I voted for Obama, um, the first time and then my health premiums went up times eight, like two years later. That sucked a little. <laughs> <laughs> that literally <laughs> happened. I couldn't believe that shit. Like I was like sitting there and I paid thirty seven dollars a month for my health insurance, and I got a little letter in the mail, mm-hmm. and it was like, "Hey, your premiums might increase <laughs> next month in January." And I'm like, "I be I one hundred eighty seven dollars." Wow, one hundred eighty seven dollars. I was like, "What? <laughs> How did that happen?" Because the Affordable Care Act was signed into law. Why would that, that affect year? everyone though? Because your premiums won't go up. End quote. But they did. <laughs> but who cares? Like whatever. And I, like I generally liked Obama. I thought he was fun. He was very, like I don't really his policies. Whatever. You know, I'm, he was pretty level headed. But uh, he just didn't do that much. You know, like his whole he platform tried. was changed. Didn't do anything. Right. Well, he tried, man. But like I said, you can't. Like even if he wanted to, I mean, he's rich as hell now, which is kind of the point. But even if he wanted to bring change. You got an entire damn house and Senate that's not going to let your ass. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. Like, we need, what we need in this country is a brutal dictator that is nice. Oh my God. <laughs> a brutal dictator. That has complete that is nice? control. How does, yeah, that, does, <laughs> that doesn't suck. That doesn't, okay. I don't think that's ever happened in history. There's never been right. like a dictator who's like, <laughs> now that no. I have control of everything. I will be great. Everything's free. Everything's great yeah, for everyone. No, that, that's the thing, man. Everything's like need, legalized. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You need somebody with absolute power that like will actually bring like positive and complete yeah. equality and change, but that could never happen because you got the two-party system and they both d- d- hate minorities and they hate each other. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. Like you got you got what is what is the main the the main deal with like the left is like, "Hey, we are not racist. I promise. Vote for us. And you, what do you have running for you? A nearly eighty-year-old white dude that says the n-word and touches young girls. Like that. Be what? <laughs> how does the How do the Democrats keep picking the worst candidate every single time? We dude, got, they had a good. They had a lot of good choices. They had good. Uh, yeah, they did. 
they, they picked the worst one. They did last time too, and then picked the worst one. They're like, hmm. Well, well crazy they thought crazy old Jewish dude, <laughs> or the woman whose husband was caught with Epstein like thirty-seven times. <laughs> <laughs> and that—that's the thing. Like, that's the thing is, it's because the Democrats don't actually want what they say they want. Like, no, the reason. Joe Biden is the candidate. It's because he's old fashioned as hell. Yep. And he's like a he's a very old school Democrat. He doesn't want any social pol- policies. Democrats don't actually want anything. So they don't no. want that. No. That's why Bernie wasn't allowed to win. They don't actually want socialism. Whether or not it would be good or not, like I, like I don't know. We'll we, never know. Right. Right. <laughs> like whether or not we we have any idea if it would be good or not, like they don't want that. No. And conservatives conservatives have always kind of been conservatives. My entire life they've always kind of been the same exact guy. You know, it's like Yeah. It's like a white dude and he's like uh pro life and all the things. And it never changes whereas the the Democrats will say whatever the hell is on their mind. They'll be like, "Hey, we are totally cool with whatever group that you create as long as you vote for us. And then we ain't going to do anything for you at all." Yeah. Yeah. So, um the both both parties, they don't give a damn. And No. There's gonna have to be some kind of giant revolution. I don't know how. Like, or when? Yeah, like when you're gonna you're gonna have to have some kind of independent come out that somehow has power behind. I don't know, man. I don't see it's, it ever happen. I I don't I don't know. I I feel like we're creeping closer and closer to the United Kingdom, which is creeping closer and closer to China. Right. Because if you think about it. Let's look at China. They have CCTVs everywhere. They have facial recognition. They have um, concentration camps. They have horrifying, you know, 19... What was the book again? 1984? Yeah. Yeah. It's 1984 there. They have a social credit system. It's Black Mirror over there. It's a horrifying nightmare. Oh, my God. The social credit system's terrifying. Yikes. You you didn't wave at your neighbor this morning. You can't buy a car. It's like, oh, that sucks. And there's internet censorship. (laughs) Now, the reason I bring up internet censorship, CCTVs, and all that stuff is because the United Kingdom is starting to have a shitload of CCTVs everywhere. They have internet censorship. They're slowly becoming more and more authoritarian. And look at what's going on over here. They're starting to... There's been a bill that is trying to have encryption basically be nothing. They want... The good guy backdoor to every single thing on the planet. Right. When, if there's a backdoor for the good guy, you really think the bad guy is not going to figure out how to get through there and then remove right. all encryption and then all of our bank accounts and all of our personal information and every single thing that is encrypted and protected right now is just going to be free game to everybody. It's, right. And that's the, that's the thing. It's going to it's gonna happen here. There's nothing we can do about it. And the reason yeah. it's going to happen here is because... The American people, uh, Canadians, doesn't matter who you are in, the, in North America, they will slowly give their rights away under the guise of safety and fear. It's 100%. They, yeah. They always have. Um, and then you're always going to have those people that are like, oh, but I got nothing to hide. <laughs> right. And, like, and as long as the government says we will protect you, you just can't. We have to amend the first, second, 15th Amendment. We got to amend everything. We have to amend all these things so you will be safe. More and more people on Twitter with their blue check marks is going to be like, uh, if you don't agree with this, then you are a piece of garbage and you don't care about the safety of other people. And they yep. will be completely shouted down until until uh, the only thing on YouTube is uh, uh, CNN and NBA and WWE. Yep. And Pootie Pie. <laughs> and he'll survive everything. He's a damn cor- Yeah, he he wears Nazi hats and shit. No one cares. Well, they do care, but <laughs> I was he's gonna just... Say, he, he, They've almost canceled him a couple times. He's weathered the storm, got through it. That's why he doesn't have to do. Like he does the right thing. Some some picture will come out of him doing something stupid, and he'll just be like, "Uh, yeah, I don't care." And they're like, "Oh shit, he doesn't care." You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like he's cancel proof. Uh, yeah, like well, c- creators are they're so afraid of the mob. Yeah. They'll come out and they'll release apology video where they're crying, and they're like, "I'm so sorry. I'm a changed person now." And I'm like, "Dude, just own it." That's why I tell people. I might I tell like people like Tiny's messy as hell. She doesn't clean her room. I'm like, dude, just own it. Yep. Just be like, you know what? Well, I mean, Scr- I love the mess, son. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You get it. Like, release a video and be like, you know what? I still got that hat, and I love it. It's great. I was like, yeah, it I, it like it doesn't mean what I think it means. Next video done, and then no one talks about it anymore. 
Yeah. But as soon as you apologize and cry on camera, that's when people will use that as ammunition. Oh, he is indeed racist. Oh, he is indeed sexist. Oh, I think God. He, I think he did apologize, though. Who? Pootie Pie? Yeah. Oh, for the hat thing? Yeah, I'm sure, I think he did. I don't know I'm about the hat thing. I, he apologized for saying the N-word in a stream. Oh, well, yeah, that's different. Yeah, that's <laughs> I'm similar. not talking about that. <laughs> no, no, but he, but the thing is, he didn't just quit and leave. He just kept doing the shit. He was like, yeah, I'm sorry, dudes. You know, bye. I'm going to keep going. Yep. He's like, so, I may have lost a bunch of contracts and a bunch of money, but you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to keep going. Right. That's, that's kind of like um, what happened with Louis CK. He's just still going, even though people yeah. tried dude, to all he him. did, all he did was make stomach pancakes in front of some chicks. He did. And he asked, and they said, "He yeah. asked." <laughs> he was being polite as hell. No, dude, he's he's funny. That's a little weird, but I mean, a little weird. Yeah, I wouldn't do it. I'm no, not gonna be doing. I don't. I don't, you, I don't want you to look at me while I, that, that's that's a private moment between me and my hand, son. Like, <laughs> I don't ever get that kind of privacy. No, um, I don't know, dude. I feel like it's coming. Um, I'm not trying to be pessimistic. I just feel like uh, it's just nothing that can stop it because. The like the the left and the right will probably agree in one thing, and that's what they want complete and total control. Even though, you know, conservatives believe that it should have less government involvement. Yeah, what's up with that? What's up with the the Republicans voting for all these different things that worm your way into your privacy and all of your information, and yet they want less government? Isn't yeah, it's it doesn't make any sense, man. They both they both want complete and total control where no one can say anything. Yeah, and um. I mean, it's coming. Like I said, mob's coming. It's going to come eventually, and the people are going to be right on with it. There's going to be a politician, and he's going to have a wagon behind him with 70 million people in it coming for your ass. And that's just how it is. Like, because, like I said, they'll be like, a politician will be like, or the media, that's a big thing, Fox or CNN or somebody, he's going to be like, you're an asshole if you don't believe in this certain way. And the mob's going to come after you on Twitter because they're going to agree with it. That's just how it's going to be. Like, I agree. Okay, I agree people should wear a mask. Yeah. I totally agree. Can you force a damn person to wear a mask? You kind of can't, but I agree people should. People should do their part. But randomly tweeting, hey, um, asshole, wear a mask, doesn't do anything <laughs> except get you some damn likes, which is what they're doing it for. Celebrities do that for likes. They don't give a damn. They're leaving. They're in their damn mansion right now. Yeah. All their little seven, videos. Yeah. We'll we'll get through this together. Bitch, please. I can see your house behind you. It's as big yeah. as a football field. What do there's you mean? There's a Ferrari in your living room. Like, I'm just saying. Yeah. There's a Ferrari in their living room. Like, they're sitting in the bathtub of rose petals, man. Like, and the you're bathtub's not slick. the size of a swimming pool. Yeah. They're no, they're ju- they're doing it for likes and for attention. And it's because they haven't got any attention in a while. Because their concerts are canceled, uh, their movies are canceled. Sorry. Yeah, that, that's why Sad they sang face. whatever that song was and took responsibility for all racism. Oh yeah, because they're gonna that thanks celebrities for telling me what to do in my life. I really was waiting for these B list celebrities to tell me to not be racist instead of me just not being damn racist. Yeah. Like <laughs> right. Oh thank God. You thank changed God, some uh, minds. Good job, idiots. <laughs> Thank God that one guy from that movie, The Core, which was a terrible movie, told me to not be racist. I was sad that, um, oh, what's the guy that played Jesse Pinkman in Breaking Bad? Oh, Man? uh, uh, shit, dude, Aaron I can't Paul. remember his name. Aaron Paul, yeah. When he was in that, he was, I was like, there. no. Dude, he's got, what I, happened, look, man? And I get, what, like, I, I get the message, like, don't get me wrong, oh, yeah, I understand. But... Celebrity's the worst damn person to give me advice. Like the last time they went to a damn Walmart, never. It was not even a super center when they went to Walmarts. Like they didn't go to no Walmart. They no. don't. They, they don't. Dude, last time that that guy from the court or Aaron, when was the last time Aaron Paul saw a black guy? Probably six <laughs> months ago. Like shut the hell up, dude. Like you. Like I love Aaron Paul, but like what the hell, dude? Like yeah, you don't know. You don't know. Like. Aaron Paul's the kind of guy that'll put a chain on his wallet when he goes like out to a club. I'm just saying he's the kind of guy like that. They they would all do the same thing. You think Taylor Swift is not going to change streets when she sees a dude with a hoodie coming? My ass, she's changing that street. She's not walking like, on streets. Come on, you know what I mean. Like I'm just saying, <laughs> if she was there, like that's what I'm saying. They they act all like oh dude, like they act like they're the moral they're the moral superior like beings of the like the universe. And they couldn't be more detached. Mm-hmm. Dude, I go to the gym every day. My gym is so... My gym is the most diverse damn place on earth. Like, like there's like probably 20% of each race. 
Like, because it's, it's college the United town. Nations. Yeah, dude. Of it's like, gyms. like the majority of people like their first language is not English, and it's such a great environment. Everybody's freaking fist bumping. Well, we used to. Now we elbow you bump because it's the future. <laughs> now we elbow slap each other and maybe get our gooches out and rub them. But like. <laughs> but that's what we do like it's such a diverse place and everybody is so nice and so kind and if there was any problems with anybody being like uh like a racist or anything like that if there was ever a problem they would be gone day one yeah like that that'd be it and that's how it should be but like celebrities that, that they're over here do you think a celebrity seat oh shit they got like eight mexicans mowing their lawn right now <laughs> Like you ain't tricking me. Like they, they, they. I don't know, man. Uh, so if you're taking your moral advice from a celebrity that has 170 million dollars and has not stepped outside their door in six months, except mm-hmm. to go film on a set, and no one's allowed to speak to them, yeah, I doubt it. I ain't taking no advice from your ass. I feel like, I mean, this maybe I'm ignorant here, but I feel like most of the general population is not racist. Yeah, but our system still is. Right. The okay, system so, yeah. that still exists. I mean, we're talking about law enforcement. We're talking about presidential candidates and presidents and both all of the them. people. Both, both of, of them, them. All of them. Openly. Like, oh, and I mean openly. They would yeah. say it to you. You just wait till, oh, God, dude, I can't wait for these debates. Dude, I'm so excited. Because you know Trump's going to be saying some dumb shit. And then yeah. Biden's going to say the N-word out, like, on accident or something. Oh, God, it's going to be so <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so, I... Have they not deba- <sighs> They haven't debated yet, have no, they? No, no, they're supp- they're going to. Oh my god, I can't wait! I'm dude, it's so gonna be excited. a shit show. Oh, dude, it's gonna I, be dude, man, me and all my friends, all my friends, we we all feel the same way. We don't really care one way or the other. Um, you, you know, live stream pro- on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's policies that we both agree. Like we all agree with different things, you know. And if we do agree, disagree, we're like. It's not a big deal. You know, we talk yeah. about it like, oh, well, I think this is good. And I think I've had so many discussions like that. Well, I think this is good. And I think this is good. That's what, and it's so and sometimes we change each other's mind. Yeah. But, you know, that that's not how it is nowadays. No, that's not what well, normal people like people on Twitter. Insane. Yeah. 100%. You could try to have a logical discussion and they will get your ass banned. But um, we would have like a party. We'd have like 10 people and we'd like make, get some pizza and some popcorn. We watched debates and we'd laugh our ass off. Because when Hillary was like. If uh, Trump was president, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, if I was president, you'd be in jail. And we <laughs> all lost our shit. Oh, my God. It's the best thing I've ever seen. I laughed so hard. Because he he's that. so quick, dude. Yeah. He's a quick dude. Like, if there's anything about him, he's quick as hell. Yeah, well, it's, thought. it's all the Adderall he's on. Hell, yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? No. Um, but I feel like it's going to be even better this time because it's like, it's like a Model T versus like a NASCAR stock car. Because it's like, you know, Trump's quick. He's quick in the... He's quick at, like... He's I don't not, know how he is, though, because he's so old and he doesn't take care of himself. Right. But he's but he's also a billionaire, so maybe he got injected with the baby blood stuff. I don't know, man. The baby I don't know how they do, blood stuff? <laughs> I don't know how they do it. They die, They do dialysis with babies and stuff. I, that's what oh, I read. Jesus. I don't know. I'm going to end up dead tomorrow. Watch. Have you Have you heard of the, um, the foreskin injections? that some celebrities are getting like baby foreskin injections i shit you not if you google this this was on a talk show (laughs) just one of the i don't know if it was ellen or what oh god but they were talking about (laughs) injecting baby foreskin into their faces to make themselves younger i'm like that is the most like satanic ritualistic cult (laughs) shit i've ever heard of in my entire life and this is a joke (laughs) I'm over here talking about some baby bloods as a joke, and I'm like, and no, it's real. Me that, it's you real. Tell me about baby foreskins. Oh, great! Now we're both canceled. I don't know what you're sure, don't, don't put my name in the title, please. No. Um, just put like, like the a, title's uh, gonna be Camelot injects baby foreskin during it's podcast. Just, just blur out my face and just have my background. No idea who this is. No. Um. Yeah. Um. Shit, I don't remember what I was talking about. Now the baby foreskin. Baby got me, blood. Dude. Talking about baby yeah, blood and uh, whatever. Trump being healthy. <laughs> yeah, Trump being yeah. healthy. No, he's just quick, dude. He's quick on. He's he, he's quick with his quips. He doesn't have a big vocabulary, so it's even better because he can just be like, "You're a dumbass," and that, like, that's all <laughs> he's got to say. Wrong. That's it. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. That's it. He wins. No. Um. And like on the opposite end of the spectrum, you know, Joe Biden. 
He says too he many is, words. Oh my god, he is the <laughs> slowest guy. Like he's getting old, man. He's like that. You, it's which is weird to me. You ever you have grandparents? You no, know, I have grandparents. I have well, one. I, I had grandparents. I have. One. They both passed away like three months ago. But <clears throat> yeah, one passed uh, away like three months ago. Yeah, it's it's been terrible. But yeah. Um, <clears throat> but you notice they're sixty five. You go see your grandma when she's sixty five. When I was younger. And she'd be like, hey, Cody. And she'd like pick me up and like slap me around. Like, I think they're older food. than 65. I think Trump is 70 right. something. They're way older than that. My dad's my 65. Point. He's sharp as fuck. That's I mean, my point is my grandma was 65. She was sharp. Mm-hmm. She, when she was 70, oh. it was like just, you would notice. I went to see her and she'd be like, hey, Cody. And just oh. hug me real lightly. 75 hits and then 78 hits. And it's like they don't even kind of know where they're at. Oh fuck! You know what I'm saying? My grandma drive like, off a cliff when I hit seventy. It sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do that when I'm 31. No, <laughs> what? See, my grandma, my grandma was 78, and I go see her right before she you know passed away or 70. I don't, she passed away a few years later, but he, she was just like she wouldn't even like she'd look through you and she wouldn't be listening and she'd be just it's just like she she was just she didn't know where she was, man. Um, and that's just because she was getting so old. Yeah, and. Joe Biden is her age, man. And it shows. It really now, shows. Th- those eight years, 72 to 78 or 72 to 76, whatever the age difference is, it's really important. Mm-hmm. Like, that's why I'm so excited for the debates because it could, it, anything could happen. Yeah. I feel like he could, you know, uh, Trump could say something out, out of the way and Joe Biden's going to try to fist fight him. Because Joe Biden's crazy as hell. <laughs> he, like, yells at people that, like, disagree with him at his little rallies. He'll, like, get in their face and yell at them. And I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, uh, I saw that. I was he was, like, like oh trying. He was, like, let's God. go outside, buckaroo. Let's go outside. And I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you you can't go outside. You would get blown away in the wind. Like, yeah. you're, like, well, I don't know, dude. It's going to be fun because, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. But I'm excited for it. Um, Like, I, I don't care who wins the president's it's gonna be interesting i don't know it's gonna be fun to watch and that's all that matters to me um (sighs) yeah neither of them neither of them support really anything that's important to me so i'm just like well it's mainly social stuff that um our organizations already like they the president doesn't need to disagree or agree because their progress is being made already like like the president's like basically an extra vote in the house <laughs> but he can I veto mean, things though that is true and he That's can sign executive thing. orders yeah um trump has signed like a shitload of them did how many other presidents have signed this many executive orders i feel like he had like a I new don't document know. in his office like every week i think at one point i think Just, obama like, did things like yeah this. obama did like 23 or 17 during his eight years really? oh, wow. and i think i think trump's done more than that or maybe right around that much i don't really know like i said i don't follow it like I don't get real into it. I no. just, it's like, like I said, it's like a football game to me. And I'm sure people that are like probably watching this right now are going to be like, wow, he's, an... they'll probably just, we've both pissed thing. off a lot of people. Well, I mean, it, just by talking like about this, just by talking about it. Yeah. yeah. Cause I'm not, I don't have any interest in the ins and the outs and the, he said, she said, or he done this or that done this. I just like watching them in, they interact <laughs> like, <laughs> and do things. I love watching Trump get off planes and his like little back suit jacket flies up and you see his ass. Like, I like and, that and, his, and his hair yeah. becomes non-existent. That one picture of him where his hair is blowing back in the wind and he's smirking and his face is so fat. Like I love that picture. It's hilarious. <laughs> I want it to be my background. And There's so many great well, pictures of Trump. He's just a hilarious. He's just so fun to just make fun of and just have a field day with. He's just so much. He's such an easy target. Oh, easy. Um, yeah. I honestly do think if uh, Biden got elected, I feel like he'd die like within two years. Like, yeah, his, it's what he's really? So old. <laughs> he's so old. He's so like his brain is not working a hundred percent. It's in the solid thirty to forty percent category. Yeah, um, on a good day. And I think the VP is what's going to determine whether or not right, right. he gets voted in. I don't even know who he would pick as VP. Yeah, I don't. It's going to be a female. I think he already said that. Oh, really? Which is cool. That's cool. But like, um, I think the thing is, my point is about the whole age thing is, you notice your grandparents starting to get a little slow or kind of fade in the brain area in their mid seventies. Almost every damn body in like the House and Congress is like that age, man. And they're there running needs to our be country. An age limit. They yeah. Do you shouldn't be able to. Uh, you shouldn't be able to. 
if you can't, I don't know. Where, where, there's like that one Supreme Court justice, I think. I'm, I don't know. She looks like she's like 187. Yeah. And I'm like, does she make decisions on things? It's like, why are you determining the future when you don't have one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> Oh, that's a spicy take. No, like it's it's like when uh Hillary Hillary used to like openly use like racial slurs because that's just what she called people back in the day. She was also against gay marriage, and then all of a sudden, because it was the popular oh. thing for the Democrats. Yeah, she was to... like, "Dude, I'm gay," and I'm like, "Wait, what? Hold on." <laughs> she didn't really she didn't really say that. I'm surprised she didn't though. No, like, dude, I just anybody will do anything to get elected, yeah. and it seems like the right will really push conservative values to get elected mm -hmm. and the left will just say whatever the hell is popular on social media at the time. Yeah. So the right will be like, I don't, we shouldn't murder babies. And then, you know, who people disagree, they agree, whatever. And then you have people on the left that are just like, Oh, I saw this post on social media and I'm just going to regurgitate it on my social media. <laughs> but, and it's not even me writing it. You think Joe Biden writes his tweets? My ass. You know, my he ass. knows what a Twitter is. Yeah, dude. He, there's no way, dude. He 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 doesn't know what the Twitter is or the Facebooks. The Twitter and the Facebook. He probably still uses the MySpace. He's probably logs into MSN to check his email. Yeah, right. He's still like I do. AOL. <laughs> <laughs> I still log into MSN. Dude, I'm still I'm old as hell. I got my dial up when I was nine. I made an MSN. Still have it today. Same one. Oh my god. This this site has changed hands like 18 times. And I'm like, I'm surprised I can still log into this. <laughs> well, I mean, MSN, I mean, it's owned by Microsoft. Yeah, we're good. We're fine. It's all forever. good. Or is AOL? Yeah. I don't know if, I don't think AOL even exists anymore, does it? Can oh, my God. Like a Hotmail or whatever it's called? Oh, no, dude. God, man, I used to download Hentai like at like, <laughs> like 40 kilobytes per second or something. And I would sit there and watch the, like the, the progress bar, like in my underwear when I was like 11 or 12. 19 megabytes, man. Can you believe that shit? 19 megabytes. It was like a one minute clip, and I was ready, son. I was ready when it said finished. LimeWire, man. My computer was I like LimeWire. My, my computer had every damn type of STD you could imagine. Did you? Like it was, uh, <laughs> did you geez. steal LimeWire from LimeWire? Did you get LimeWire Pro off of LimeWire? <laughs> no. You didn't do that. No. I didn't even do. I do. I just had normal LimeWire. Oh uh, no! You could you could in LimeWire steal LimeWire from LimeWire. So what I did yeah. is I typed in as soon as I downloaded it, I typed in LimeWire Pro. And I downloaded LimeWire Pro and just <laughs> ran it, and it just that's worked. hilarious. Wow. Yeah. I remember, do you remember? I don't know if you remember. Like you're my, you're like slightly younger than me. Yeah. <clears throat> I used to have Kazaa, which was the first I one I Kazaa. ever remember. I had Morpheus. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. That was no, another. I had, five I had Kazaa thing. and LimeWire, and that was like the big ones. And I would LimeWire just type was... in hentai. Let's go. Let's go hentai. <laughs> Give me something. Baba Black. First thing I saw. Downloading it. Oh my god. <laughs> chick just shoots out a pee and I was like oh wow this is what? interesting <laughs> yeah that happened dude I'm telling you yeah she like grew one I don't know man what, what we're talking the about fuck were you watching dude <laughs> it's called <laughs> Bible Black I don't know man I was 12 dude is this is this still an ongoing thing that you watch are you in no, season dude, 56 I, or something no I don't I don't even <sighs> it has to be t it has to be 4k 60 frames per second VR VR. That's what's... <laughs> I feel like VR, VR porn would be weird. Uh, be it really is. <laughs> oh, you've done it, it huh? <laughs> yeah, dude. I have a headset. No, you I, have a headset. Would... Yeah, it was, it's it's a little weird. Um, I like look. I didn't do anything. I just like looked. I like clicked on the link and like like watched and I was like, ah, oh, it's a little weird. And then I took it off. Like it doesn't really. Do, it just makes. It just looks like it's in front of you, kind of. But it's not even three D ish. It's just like a video, but like mm. kind of curved around your face. Um, no, no. But uh, yeah, it's gotta be 1080p, son. At least, <laughs> if I see one damn pixel, like a limp You're connoisseur, huh? <laughs> one pixel and it's limp town. I need son. that caviar <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> if I see one damn pixel, limp as hell. Gone. Got to bring it back up. Got to reinflate it. Got to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get my pump, son. I can't make it through this shit, dude. I've clicked on some stuff before, <clears throat> and the thumbnail looked real nice, you know. And I'm like excited. And I click on it, and it's like 240p. I'm like, are you <laughs> kidding me? Dude, I can't even... I, I don't even see what he... What is he... Is he naked? I don't even know. I'm wearing a tan shirt? No idea. Like, nah, dude. I've got, I'm have got spoiled now. I gotta, I gotta go 1080p all you day. Have a, you got a premium account, I'm sure? <laughs> no! Well, it was free for a while. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was... Uh, Pornhub hooked us up, dude. No, um... 
No, I ain't got no premium stuff. Dude, I haven't watched anything in like a year. I'm celibate, dude. I don't know if you knew that. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't believe yeah, you at dude. all. I'm too lazy, man. I got to make videos and stuff. I can't go out in public. <laughs> what, am I going to download Tinder and wear a mask to my date? I don't know. Maybe. Put a mask on my junk, too. Like, <laughs> what I, sorry. Stay six feet away. I'm just going to look at you. Louis I don't know. Ty- Tiny said you were cheating on me with several people. That is true. Oh, that's just like, no, that's, that's dudes, man. That's different. <laughs> <laughs> that's a little different. It doesn't count when it's dudes. <laughs> dudes can be crazy. Dudes you don't have to wear that. a mask for, huh? No, nah, dude. I got a strong antibody. I'll kiss him on the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I ate dirt when I was a baby, dude. I'm going to be fine. I did that too. I think I think it's a good thing for kids to eat sand. Yeah. I used right? to like swim in my, my swimming pool with the frogs in it and stuff in like the like uh, autumn. There's like frogs and eggs in it and I'd swim in it. What? <laughs> Probably sucking down some frogs. So yeah, I've got my antibodies are strong, dude. Oh. I've been sick once in the last like fifteen years. Once. Wow. And it was like I was in it was Vegas twenty eleven. <clears throat> I went to Vegas for the GameStop conference. And uh I got back. And I thought I was going to die. And I, like, laid in bed for a week. I called out of work. Laid in bed for a week, like, shivering. It was like the flu or something. And uh, that was the last time I got sick. I haven't been sick wow. since. I have allergies and stuff when I mow the lawn. I'll get sniffly and stuff. Yeah, but, like, I too. Nah, dude. But I don't I don't get sick. So, uh, if I make out some guys, I ain't wearing a mask. I mean, how you going to make <laughs> out with a mask on, anyway? Just smush them together? I don't know. Yeah. How am I going to go down there, son? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get some of that sauce. I don't... I'm trying to think of when the last time I got sick was that wasn't like alcohol poisoning or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we're talking about that, oh shit. That's like a weekly thing. Yeah, I was going to say. Pretty sure I saw you rush off camera to throw up after drinking a bunch of <laughs> eggs and alcohol. Hell yeah. It's my favorite thing. Oh Man, god. Oh. Yeah, we did... Tri- I think we did triple fight milk for on my 24-hour stream. Oh my god. <sighs> Six eggs. The last two, like, hit my gullet. Oh, it was rough. It was, like, yeah. forcing down like a basketball. When I when I hit 100K and I do my 24-hour thing, I don't think I'll oh. be drinking alcohol at all. That just sounds like oh. a terrible mix. Oh. No, I didn't drink on my 24-hour stream. Oh, you just did the fight milk? I did the fight milk, yeah. Isn't there alcohol in the fight milk? Yeah, there's three shots. I mean, that's... I think I did it. I did it the next stream. I don't think I did it on that stream. Oh, okay. Because, like, I got to, like, hour 13 and was, like, lightheaded and sick. Like, I don't know why. I guess because of the mental state of knowing I had 12 hours left. So I, like, went into my bedroom for 20 minutes and took a break and let Tiny do some stuff. And I did, like, push-ups and sit-ups and, like, ran in place. And it I felt a thousand times better. Really? Yep. I felt better at hour 20 than I did at hour 5. Just because of that? Yep. <laughs> Just because uh, I, like, went out. I went in the other room and, like exercised very fast and very like like strenuous for like 10 minutes let's get the your juices pumping. yeah i'm just sitting there for that well that's there was that one streamer he did a 24-hour stream and he died because he was at our he was at hour 23 and he had been sitting there the whole time and he was at hour 23 and he went up he got up to go take a smoke break and he died he had a brain aneurysm because he had a blood clot in his knee for sitting down so long oh my god so I, I got up every like two hours and moved around. Yeah, I guess I'll have to make sure I do that. Yeah, don't sit I there the whole damn time. Yeah, I was like doing push ups and shit. I was doing everything you can. I'm surprised I never died during any of my uh like land party days where we were just Oh my god, dude. For yeah, ungodly I remember of hours. I remember eating pizza and yep. sitting there and it was like six PM and we started our land party and there was like twenty five people there with just TVs and and Xboxes. People? Yeah. We had to wow. switch out, let people get in there and play. And we would play Halo 1 or Halo 2. And we would be, I was like the only one with Xbox Live at the time, like me and like one other person. So we were just dominating because, you know, Xbox Live put you on another level. Yeah. You were like trained. Um, so I uh, I remember sitting there and it was 6 p.m. <clears throat> and I remember looking at the window after eating pizza and like looking at the window and it was daylight. Like it was like the morning. And then I remember looking at the clock, like, again, we were, like, still playing. There, It had dwindled down to, like, probably 15 people, maybe, or 16. And I looked outside again, and it was, like, nighttime. It wow. was, like, 24 hours straight. 
And then we sat down and watched, uh, this was just one land party in particular. We sat down and watched Lord of the Rings, the extended versions. I would always put those on during land parties. Yeah. They're perfect. And we were all sitting around a TV watching like a uh, fellowship of the ring. And I got an hour in and I blacked out for like 12 hours. I believe it. I laid on the couch for like 12 hours. <laughs> yeah. After, after staying up that long, your body's just like, well, now you're going to be decommissioned for a while. Cause I need to recover. Yeah. Then now that's me after eight hours. Eight hours I, of yeah of just being awake. I could sleep for twelve hours, be awake for eight hours, then I have to sleep another twelve hours. <laughs> really, dude, I'm old as hell, man. You're only awake eight hours of every day. No, not every day. Like, it's <laughs> some, like that's some, crazy. It seems like the more sleep I get, the more tired I am. Like every day, so I have to like sleep five hours and then I'm wide awake. Like I slept like five hours last night. Do you drink caffeine at all? Uh, I drink caffeine once per day in like a pre workout shot oh, okay. when I go to the gym. That's it. Dude, Monster huh. Zeros, the white ones, they have like 10 calories or something. Yeah. The Monster Zeros, the big cans that are just white, they taste like Jesus, and I don't know what the hell's in them. I'm going to try that one. I've, oh I've been God. drinking uh, G Fuel lately, just because I'm trying to save money on my energy drink addiction. <laughs> Dude. So instead of being like 250, I can't, what's up? Oh, sorry, I was, was <laughs> going to say, I was going to say, you were just looking into my eyes right there, I was like, oh God. My pants got all tight and stuff. No, um, <laughs> monster, the, like those monster, like if you like like energy drinks, those monster white zeros are like the greatest thing ever invented. Oh god, what do they taste like? Like Jesus, if he was a drink. They taste like Jesus. They taste yeah, like if wine. he was, if they put him in a juicer. So wine. No, but yeah, but like, <laughs> but <laughs> no, dude, it was all. It's it's so good. I started drink. I was drinking like one a day for like a week. And I stopped drinking them because I was like, I probably shouldn't be drinking these for some arbitrary reason. It's full but, of God yeah. knows what. But I drank it for probably like two months, like on and off every day. Uh, only one. And uh, I stopped drinking them like a week ago. But every now and then I think about it and I'm just like, oh, dude, there's something about riding around in my Jeep that's finally finished. 100%. Nice. Riding around in my Jeep with the top off, man, with a damn one of those monsters, man. And just, just oh, God, I don't know. There's something about it, dude. Makes I me feel you. alive. I know what you mean. That was my uh, that was me with full throttle blue agave. I used to love those. Blue agave. Ooh. It was so good. Fancy. That sounds like some damn tequila, son. Exactly. Yeah. Blue agave. It's it's like uh, it's got a little. It's like a sweeter tequila type taste. It's really good. That's nice. Blue That's agave. Blue agave. Hell and yeah. then I uh, I used to drink nos all the time. Oh my god. And then <laughs> nos. Um, I would drink. Nos always tasted like weird, like a grapefruit. It was like a grapefruit flavor to it. Yeah. That's what it reminded me of, at least. And then drink like... And then I, recently I had been drinking Red Bulls, and that's like two fifty a can. Yeah. And I was like, I can't keep buying these. So I finally tried G Fuel, because it just seemed like a stupid meme for the longest time. And yeah. Like, I don't want to drink something that's sponsoring Keemstar and a bunch of other idiots. Um, and then I tried it. I'm like, holy shit, this is actually really good. And it's like 50 to 75 cents per drink instead of yeah. like $2 and 50 cents. And I'm like, fuck. Yeah. Um, my first energy, energy drink I ever had was a normal, like black monster can. Yep. I used to drink and, those too. And I was, it was when I worked at, uh, the Walmart district manager thing. It was black Friday. This was like a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. And, um, they, I bought like four, like 24 packs or something like that, or like eight. And I took them to all my stores. I had to travel to every store that day. Damn. It took me like 14 hours. We were open like 24 hours or something. And um, I, I, it was like every store in the North North Alabama where I work. And I dropped off a monster for every single associate. Like, huh. That was nice of and you. I, I drank like two of them. It was so good. <laughs> so good. And I was like, this is the greatest thing I've ever tasted. Because I only drink water. I only drink water. I don't mm -hmm. drink soda. I haven't drank a soda since I was 16. Um, it's been a while since I've had a soda, too. Yeah, I only drink water and, of course, alcohol. <laughs> um, but not beer, though. Only to, like only liquor. Except for recently, I started drinking these little dudes. Like, once a week, I drink like one or two. Cause, Why don't you like, drink beer? I, Beer's delicious. I don't know, dude. Something about it just tastes a little weird. Just tastes a little... Uh, what I don't know if it's of, the hot... Okay. It tastes like tree bark. So you're probably drinking IPAs then, if it tastes. Maybe like I've tried. I like Blue Moon a little bit. I like Blue, Blue Moon. Moon. Blue Moon's like where I started to like beer. Yeah, and exactly. I and then and transitioned to now I like <laughs> Imperial IPAs. I just drink like, these. They're like kind of tasty. It is like apple they, juice. Yeah, but they're and they're so but they I'm, sugar. 
pretty sure they have like infinity sugar in it, but yeah. like <laughs> it just has an infinity logo. <laughs> Too much diabetes, instant. Just you drink one and you just lose a, your foot. There you go. You, that's how you lose your foot. Yeah. When do you think? Uh, when do you think movies are going to start coming out again? Uh, well, Tenet keeps getting pushed back. Uh, I believe it's coming out August now. That's like the one movie I give a shit about. Um, yeah. And the thing is, um, I check my movie theater like once a week because I love just going to the movie theater. Me too. With like a with like a friend or two, take Tiny along, and yeah. just like just sit down and watch a movie. It's just it's not only the experience, but it's also a movie. Yeah. Um, but uh, I keep checking it, and they're still closed. And if Alabama was closed, you best damn believe the whole U.S. is closed. Um, yeah, uh, unless it's here. well, other than South Dakota and North Dakota. Well, everything's open there. Yeah, they never closed. Well, one of them, I think, never closed, and they have the lowest numbers in the entire U.S. <laughs> what? But uh, weird. Hmm. I don't I wonder, know what that's I wonder, about. Maybe it's their population density. It might be, yeah. Or nobody um, visits those states, so they don't have anybody coming back. <laughs> or the population is like seven. It's like yeah. seven dudes. We're seven people. We only have two people infected. I mean, that's a huge percentage. Don't look at that, but if you look yeah. at... <laughs> There's one guy infected. 30% of the population. Fuck. Uh, yeah. <laughs> don't leave the house, Daryl, damn it. You bastard. I told you. <laughs> told you not no. to go to China. No, I'm just... I'm waiting for it. I, I kind of want it all to come back. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I wasn't even in. I don't even watch Marvel movies. I mean, I watched them slowly, kind of all of them slowly. Like I saw uh, Thor Ragnarok like a year and a half. That after was it came such out. a good movie. Dude, that's the best freaking Marvel movie probably yeah. ever. Yeah. Um, probably because Jeff Goldblum. I love me some Jeff Goldblum. Um, He's just but, himself. Dude, yeah, it's just it, literally it's, they just just <laughs> called him Mr. Goldblum. Um, but uh, yeah, it was. Um, I'd watched them all really slowly, and I don't really care for them. Like they're all kind of like the same. Like, same story lineup, the same, like, structure. Um, there's a few good ones, and Avengers was great. Um, especially Endgame was great. Made me cry like a baby. <laughs> like a big old fat baby. But I cried everything, so that's not really an excuse. Um, you ever seen Coco? Oh, Jesus, God. I haven't seen that movie, <gasps> but everyone's like, you need to see that oh movie. God. Oh, my God. Okay, so you, like, okay. Anyways, Marvel movies, I kind of miss them. That was my point. But, yep. um, <clears throat> Coco, okay. I know the podcast is getting long, man, but Coco, I got to talk about Coco. So. Go for it. So I watched Coco for the first time. I was real drunk, watched all of it, and I was like, ah, whatever. Yeah. Wasn't paying attention. I think there was like, I had some sque new squeeze from Tinder. I don't know, man. Oh, I was paying I see attention what you mean. her. Yeah, 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 I was paying attention to this chick. I don't know. I don't know. I maybe I might be lying. Um, I was drunk. <laughs> no, but um, <clears throat> I was watching Coco. <laughs> I was watching Coco, man, and I watched it again when I was just like not drunk i was just watching it like by myself or something yeah um and i got real sucked into it after like five minutes i put it on while i was editing got sucked into it got to the end man oh my god yeah. well, okay and then like the little little kid walks up to the grandma grandma coco and he's like got his his guitar and he's like remember me and then she starts saying it oh my god Dude, I cried so hard. I was like ugly crying on the couch. And I'm like, why did I do this the first time I watched this? Like, there's my mascara running, dude. People like coming in the room. Like, What's wrong, man? Did you did somebody call you your mom okay? What happened? I'm like, Dan, I watch Coco. <laughs> <laughs> Mama Coco's so old. She can't remember her father. Oh my god. Damn it. Ernesto de la Cruz. Oh man, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. You know watch it, man. Get okay. you a get you a honey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sit down beside her, watch some Coco. Maybe not with her if you cry. You might cry real hard, and then she'd be like, who's this guy I'm with? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Put your, pet, put your pants back on. We ain't doing this anymore. You cry in Coco. <laughs> Dude, I've, I've, watched, I've watched movies with the girls. Uh -huh. Interstellar. Interstellar is a good one. Yes. You That scene where he's watching like the, the 20 years or 30 years of his children in the yep. videos yep. and they're getting older and shit. Yeah. And then it cuts back to Matthew McConaughey and he's ugly crying. Yeah. Oh my God. Every, yeah. I've seen it 30 times. I ugly cry every time. Yeah. I, and I, like, I tear up a little bit when he sees his, his daughter again for the first time. Yeah. She comes she's, on and she's like, dad, you told me that one day we might be the same age. Oh my God. And it cuts yeah. to him. It cuts to him. Cause you know. Cause you're like, oh my god, he's probably being, he's probably so hurt right now, cause he's saying this, and then it goes to his face, and it just, it solidifies your feelings, and you just yeah. start crying. I cr the first time I saw that in theaters, it was an IMAX. I cried so hard that my wife at the time, ex-wife, like grabbed my hand as she cried as well. It was like a moment, 
<laughs> yeah. She was like, it's okay. Man. I was so sad I missed that in theaters. I'm so sad. Oh my God, it was so rough. But dude, I watch it. I'll watch it beside a chick sometimes. You know, I'll be hanging out with a new girl or something or, or some of my guy friends, you know. Um, and I'll be watching it and I'm like at that part and I have to like kind of like like side face it where I like you can't see my face. And Especially there's like if you're a little intoxicated. Yeah. And there's like these, I'll be like this. Like the whole time, I'm just like <laughs> trying so hard, and there'll be like a tear, and it's like, man, I have to like wipe it. I'm just not, like, not sad. You're and sad. I'm like, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. And I look over at her, and she's just like yawning and watching it. I'm like, what the fuck? How are you not feeling everything I'm feeling right now? And that's when you know you can't hang out with her anymore because she's she crazy as hell. Yeah. Don't marry the ones that don't cry at Interstellar. That's how you do it. You just it's like yeah a filter. Yeah, it's your test. You if you're if you got a girl and you think that you might marry this girl one day. Watch Interstellar with her. If she don't cry at that part, you got a problem. Do you know what's also a movie that almost made me tear up as well is Arrival. Oh, she almost do you almost tear up. Are you shitting me? A little bit. Are you shitting me? Tear almost tear up. What? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> when she's flashing movie. back, <laughs> yeah. when she's like flashing back, and she can like see all time in a circle. And you and, and you, it comes to. I was like, oh shit, that's what was happening this whole oh, time. Oh yeah, dude. Oh my and god, like, I cry. Oh. Um. Okay. Okay. The first time, maybe not. Except at the end. But like when the I rewatched that time, movie, yes. when I rewatched that movie, so much harder the I, second time. I've watched it a lot because I love that damn movie. Yeah. Every time I watch that movie again, you know exactly like you see the baby, and then it's in the hospital, and the cancer hair, and you're just like ah, like because I know what's happening. And yeah. then when she hugs freaking uh, when she hugs Hawkeye, Hawkeye, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when she hugs him, and she's like, I forgot how good it feels to hold you, and he doesn't yeah. even know because this is the first know. time they hugged. Oh God. And you know I'm that like, that's why they they broke up because she told him what was going to yeah. happen and oh yeah dude and he when she when she's like I forgot how how good it felt to hold you you instantly put yourself in her position yep because it's almost like you can see yourself like that like you can yep. almost see your life in a circle when you watch that it's crazy and like you almost understand it from a time perspective for some reason yep. now so like I think back to like getting married and stuff and like how like deeply I felt. And like it every time, like I watch that movie, I'm just like, ah, like this is, you know. Even though I don't feel that way anymore, it's just like, man, how could I possibly feel that way but not feel that way anymore? I know what you it's mean. crazy, man. Yeah, it's crazy. So it just makes you uh, way more in tune with your you your humanity, and it sucks. <laughs> I want to. F- <laughs> it sucks. I want to <laughs> feel nothing. I want to be a sociopath that feels nothing and yeah. just yeah. wins. That's what I want. I want to feel nothing, but every time I watch anything, God, I watch Moana. I don't even know why I'm crying when I watch Moana. Yeah, she I like goes remember. up to she goes up to the beach, and then like the beach moves the shell, and she's a baby, and it's like, and I'm just I start crying, and I don't know why. <laughs> like, I was like, I'm like I don't why, know why you're so crying for that movie, <laughs> dude? I don't know, man. There's something about it. I don't know if this is some kind of damn conspiracy, <laughs> and they put subliminal messages. Did I cry so hard at that movie too? Disney's got you. Like when she realizes, she says she's not strong enough at the end. She's like, I'm not strong enough. I can't do this. And then like she sees the thing that her grandma's ghost and the grandma's ghost is like, you are strong enough. And then she turns around and she's like, I see the light as it shines on the sea. And I'm just like, ah, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, you are strong enough, Moana. Damn it. Oh, my God. Oh Dude, I don't know. God. Oh, Onward? Shit. Cried Onward. I, I watched Onward. Onward. Huh. I saw it in theaters before the world ended. And then, which sucks because they didn't like they didn't make any money, and that movie is great. Um, they, didn't, they didn't. It was like critically acclaimed, and everybody loved yeah, it. Yeah, but guess. It, all the theaters closed like a week after it came out, or something. Oh. I might be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that's it, that. It, that's what happened. It just didn't get a lot of playback, and because um, movies have to play for months, and that play yeah. did try to play for like a week or two. Um, <clears throat> but I watched it on Disney Plus like two days ago, and when he's like, "Wait, you haven't seen it." But okay, so there's there's a part where like the kid, the main kid, realizes something about his like f- like father or whatever, <clears throat> which isn't a spoiler because that's like the whole premise of the whole damn movie. Yeah. Um, he realizes he has a revelation at the end. Oh my god, I cry so hard. Oh my god, I need to see it. I I have a Disney Plus account from one of my roommates, so I just need to. How have you not watched? <laughs> I only watched Mandalorian, and then I just stopped watching Disney Plus. <clears throat> There's a lot of good stuff on there. Dude, I'm telling you, that Onward's a great movie. Yeah. Chris Pratt did such a good damn job. Such a good job. Chris, Love Pratt, Chris Pratt. I'm trying to think of what he's been bad in. I mean, I'll never watch <clears throat> the Jurassic Park movies because they look awful. 
But um, he was good in them. It's just the movies look terrible because CG is so over the top. And I was like, <coughs> no. He's a was... good. At, I mean, he's good at what he does. But yeah. um, he couldn't. He couldn't save that movie. But I've also always never... heard that. What I've always heard, like um, when the first uh movie came out. What was that movie? The Guardians of the Galaxy. When the first one came yeah. out, I was working at GameStop. It was like 2013 or something. Mm-hmm. And I was working at GameStop and every regular customer came in and they're like, you remind me of Star-Lord. And I'm like, who the fuck Star-Lord? <laughs> and I heard this for months because I, I didn't care about Marvel movies at all at the time. Yeah. Um, I saw Iron Man 1. That was it. I, and I didn't see anything else. Um, Eventually, I watched all of them. But like uh, people kept calling me. They said I remind them of Star-Lord. And I'm like, I don't know who that is. Um, and finally I saw the movie like a year later and it was apparently, I remind, they rem- I reminded them of Chris Pratt and I was like, I don't see that, but i still hear it today. I can see it. I, I'll be at the gym it. and somebody like, it'll be a new person I'm hanging out with and they'll be like laughing or we'll be cutting up and like, huh, you, you remind me of Chris Pratt. And I'm especially, just like, especially, especially with the facial hair what? like that, that adds to the Chris Prattiness. That's just a lazy Cody. That's all I am. Well, I just don't shave for like this. This is like five days. I haven't shaved. I'm just like, ah, my hair, dude, the older I get, oh my God, it's so fast now. Yeah. It is so fast. I like, can't it, grow a beard like at all. I used to could not. And, uh, I don't even know what would happen if I didn't go for two months without shaving. I don't know what would happen. I don't know. It would probably, I want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be beard guy though. There's already so many damn beard guys. When I yeah, like they, when I they, go to the gym, every single guy lifting is a beard guy, and I don't want to be a beard guy. You want to be a beard guy? I want to be I want to be clean shaven guy with a nice jawline. But I eat too many damn Tostino's freaking chips, Tostin Auto, chips and salsa, man. Chips and salsa are awesome. Oh god! And I just I work out a lot. I do an hour of cardio every day now, just so I can eat chips and salsa. I uh, I was working out a lot, and now I haven't in like three or four weeks. So. uh... <laughs> Three, I mean, four, wait is well, your gym is, is your gym open or uh well my gym was at my office so oh no <laughs> i mean when i was working out here i was just doing i had like an app and it told me a bunch of stuff i could do on the floor like different types of push-ups and a bunch of different types of sit-ups yeah. and i got a pull-up bar so i just did all that kind of stuff and i've got like a couple weights so i was doing all that and i was i was keeping it I was I was keeping a good schedule for a while. I don't know. Just this past month, I've just kind of slacked off. I need to get back into it. I don't know. I've been go, so busy. <laughs> I go every day for like six hours. If I could, I day. would. But I can't. I can't stop, dude. Like it's a it's a mental thing. If I stop, I will die. I will literally like off myself. I've heard that like, from a lot of people. Um, it's like a stress relieving thing. And yeah. if anybody's like, "Hey, you got to leave the gym early to do this," I it ruins my whole day. I'm like, sure if I had more time, I would, I'd, I'd do it. But I have such a finite amount of time. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, you work. Do you work from home right now? I do, but I still yeah, have to put see. in a forty hour. In fact, I'm working. Right. Like, I'm doing like ten times the things I was before because all my stuff is web based. And before, I mean, I, I had like a decent workload, but it wasn't a ton because there were all these in person events and stuff. I didn't have to deal right. with. Right. But now there's no in person events. All the events are online, so I right. have to host all these events and edit them and get the audio from everybody, and I have to teach people how to use OBS and teach people how to use Audacity and teach people basically what I do on YouTube. I have to teach people yeah. how to be a YouTuber um, <laughs> constantly, and yeah, it's it's so crazy. It's so much. Yeah, no, that sounds terrible. Like It's awful. It, I mean, it would probably be easier to work out, like, see, like, I'd... You know, I do. I've been doing YouTube full time for almost a year now. I'm I can't believe so it's been jealous. a year. What the hell? Yeah, How I did know, this right? happen? It's God. been a year already. This year, boom! It's it's so crazy. It's already it's June, isn't it? Yeah, it's almost it's July. Ju- it's July in like three days, man. What the fuck? How? Yeah. How did that happen? I don't understand. I don't know, man. But I've just just been crazy. I can't believe I've been doing YouTube full time for a year. That's crazy. It's crazy. It's it's the best damn job. I mean, I can, I I, I just I, I enjoy the hell out of it because it's it's mainly I get to make content that I enjoy, yeah. Um, and I get to have streams and play games that I enjoy. That's one thing. It's great, man. I didn't play games when I worked like full time, like at Walmart or when I worked at GameStop. 
I didn't. I worked so many damn hours, man. Being yeah. in management, you have to put in like fifty or sixty at least. And um, I didn't play games anymore. And now I can play. I, dude, I played Metal Gear Solid One like five times on stream. Yeah, that's Holy that's, hell. A, that's like the only time I play games now. Like when you see me playing games on stream, that's when I'm playing video games pretty much. Yeah, exactly. That, that's me too. But like I get to do it so often. And that I I played Resident Evil last night though off stream. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. God, it's an awesome game. No, like. It's uh, it's been a crazy ass year. I don't, I have a stock car. Like I don't. Like, That's so cool. It's so awesome. Like I, I've got, I've ordered so many parts to make it work. Like because it's been sitting for like a long time, and you know it does what it's, it's, it runs, it does all that good stuff. But I have to like change a lot of stuff about it to actually take it to places, mm-hmm. which I have a lot of stuff lined up for. Um, I might die. Oh, so you're gonna you're gonna put lights and blinkers and no no no, no. Um, oh, okay. no I'm gonna take it to like actual like big ass tracks and run it oh okay like how it was intended to be ran nice and I'm gonna give it hell and it's gonna be scary as hell I'm excited um but uh, there's just a lot of things I mean I have like all these parts in my garage and like it's all they're all just stacked up my garage looks like a little shop now it's hilarious That's sick. and I have like all these sets of tires that are like up to the damn ceiling that I have to go through um it's 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 an expensive like hobby, but it's it's really <laughs> sure it's a, it's, a it's stock really car. <laughs> it's awesome. It's it's like this is what I've always wanted to do, like that, yeah. like that, and like YouTube. Like I always wanted to be, I always wanted to do YouTube ever since I was like sixteen. Yeah. And when I was twenty eight, it was the first time I ever tried to do it seriously. Like almost twenty nine, I was about to turn twenty nine, mm-hmm. and I was like, I'm gonna actually do this seriously. And then pff, here we are. Yeah. So, um, and then I, now I have a stock car. So, like, I have both things that I enjoy, um, and it's fun. It's it's cool. It's a very, life is so strange and fly by the seat of your pants right now. It's unpredictable, but I enjoy that. Yeah. Of course, Sometimes. yeah. It's Sometimes. super predictable, I mean. Sometimes I enjoy that. Yeah. Sometimes I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> like, oh, my God. Like, oh, wait, we're going we're, we're gonna to be canceled. Oh yeah, I we're gonna be canceled. That's how we started this. We're gonna be yeah. Canceled. We got th- 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 did we thirty minutes into the thing? We're talking about damn uh, not liking either presidential candidate. Yeah, it's true. We're gonna be canceled for that. Half the people, um, half the gonna, people that watch this like one of them. <laughs> we're, we're gonna like be one of them for. We're gonna be canceled for saying people should be forgiven at some point. Oh, dude, we're screwed. <laughs> we're so screwed. Forgiveness is it's not a thing anymore. I'm not saying everybody should be forgiven. No. no I'm saying no. sometimes yes. when like it was appropriate, maybe. Yep. But then who deems it's appropriate? That's the thing. Context. Context right. deems when it's appropriate. Context matters. It does matter. 100%. Now if it's just a video of a guy like like you know Pun- punching grandmas. Pun- punching grandmas in the face. Yeah. <laughs> You should probably be canceled for that thing. But if it's like, hey, this guy talked to me like 10 years ago and he like sent me cum droplets with the emoji, shouldn't be canceled for that. <laughs> I'm just saying. I know I'm making I'm making a joke out of the whole thing. But yeah, I mean, generally speaking, um, yeah. like I said, the only one I haven't, I don't I haven't really followed much of it. I saw the Shane Dawson stuff. Stuff he did is real weird. Yeah, he might deserve a little a little taste of that cancel. Just a little. But then again, if we do cancel him, like, and I say we as if I'm doing anything, yeah. like, then we got to cancel celebrities too, man. Like, if a celebrity does something, they got to be canceled too. Don't celebrities get flack for shit, though? Like, aren't well, they, haven't they like, already been getting canceled? Uh, it depends. Like, like I said, Jimmy Kimmel, like, he did, like, he did straight up the same exact damn thing that, like, YouTubers are getting canceled for. Like, it worse. And he's not getting <laughs> called out for it. Well, he apologized for it like a year later after everybody knew about it. Mm. He said he didn't want to give racist power. And I'm like, how? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I probably read that wrong. No. Um, <laughs> but he took a break from like Jimmy Kimmel for like a couple months. I'm sure he won't get even. No one will even say anything about it because uh, he like that was something about like uh, there's something about talk show hosts that like bend to every will of social media they don't get in trouble no matter what they do letterman did oh I don't, what did letterman oh wait what did letterman he was do? cheating like on his wife. spouse yeah oh, pff, pff, that's fine now you can do that all day how is that fine now i don't understand i feel like when when dr disrespect got randomly banned i'm like i don't i mean i don't care like, yeah, he's like kind and of already it, a shitty person. He probably did something I, else shitty. Yeah. 
that's why I'm thinking it's like a sexual assault thing. Because yeah, like, I, I, I can or, see it. He like fits I said, the profile now. He's a cheater. Yeah, publicity stunt though. But mm-hmm. then again, no, I don't think, dude. I don't think anybody should bear any kind of damn professional criticism over cheating unless they're in like some like moralistic position. Like I don't like a like a like a um, like a priest or something. Kind of says a lot about your character though, if you're willing to fuck over your. That is true, other, but other, let I mean, your audience decide. If like your but, personality, I feel like. That's part of your personality now. We know that about you, right? And but see, I don't care. Like I don't care about that kind of thing. Like really. So like if if you were watching somebody and then you found out they just cheated on their wife all the time, you wouldn't care. That wouldn't affect how you viewed them. No, I just insert my if I yeah I insert my ex wife in that position and I'm just like, <laughs> hell yeah, <laughs> she deserves it. I don't like, what if the know. lady didn't though? What if she was just a completely no, nice woman? No, that's a joke. No, um. No, um, <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like people's personal life is, as long as it's not like, like messed up, like they're chopping up people, you know what I'm saying, or doing something illegal. I'm like, I feel like, you know, you keep it behind kind of closed doors kind of deal. Um, but then again, like you said, it's a personality. Like if they are a personality, yeah. But then again, I think their audience should vote with their wallets. Like, and stop going there. Hence why yeah. I'm like, stop going to damn GameStop because they suck. And people are like, yeah, I agree they suck, but I'm going to go pick up this game. And I'm like, dude, vote with your wallet and don't go there anymore. <laughs> so, like, maybe maybe let their audience decide. And if their audience doesn't, if they lose ratings and they lose their show, so be it. I guess I could see that. Don't try to go out of your way to de-platform those people. But Yeah, because, dude, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Like, everybody cheats on everybody. And, and I mean that in a very non-generalistic way. Um, because I'm just speaking from experience, but like, not me, no, no, not me. No, I, I, I was never say, I've been cheated on a couple times now. I've never cheated yeah, on see, anyone. You, you know, you know, no, like, uh, um, it's the was, worst feeling ever. That's I was why I'm violently, like, fuck those people. I was violently loyal when I was married and I'm yeah. like, from the day I got married, from the day I wasn't married, I was so loyal. Like I didn't even see females. It was like they didn't exist. Yeah. You put on the horse blinders. You don't give a shit. And apparently that didn't matter in my case. But no. The, anyways, no, when I was, you know, when I was, when, after she left and I was like, you know, everybody downloads Tinder when, you know, they're, they end up, they're out of a relationship. They want to see where they lie. And you're like hanging out with chicks because Tinder's crazy as hell. And like, you're hanging out with all these girls and 95% of them have boyfriends and oh, you don't know about fuck. it. Dude, I didn't know about it. Like, I would hang out with girls, and then we'd be, like, hanging out. We'd, you know, we'd drink, and then, you know, they'd stay at my house or something. And I would talk to them, like, a, a two days later, and they'd be like, hey, let's hang out Friday. And I'd be like, uh, okay, maybe. And then they'd be like, um, my boyfriend's going out of town. And I'm like, what? Oh, my God. <laughs> what do you mean, your boyfriend? Or my husband. Like, that, those things happen. And that was, like, almost <sighs> every single person. And I'm like, what's happening here? Jesus Christ. So I just stopped messing with it because, like... I'm glad I never used Tinder. Fuck that. Yeah, like, I was not messing... I stopped messing messing with it because, like, I feel like... I mean, and a lot of, a lot of the times the girls were single. I'm, I'm generalizing. But, like... Yeah. Every time I, like, I stopped using it because I was tired of getting into those situations. Because at, at first, they'll tell you they ain't got a boyfriend. And then yeah. after after they already won the damn game, they're like, oh, yeah, I like my boyfriend. And I'm like, what the hell? And that happens. That happened more often than it should have. Yeah, that's why I'm saying people are probably cheating on each other. And then like you have family members that are really open. They tell you, but about I how think they those people shit. just because it happens all the time. <clears throat> I think those people that do it should be punished. I don't think the government should make a law about it or anything. I oh, just definitely think, not. I punished think if you, punished as in like, uh, what was that con- comedian that cheated on his wife and he got like. A whole shitstorm about it. I think you should have gotten in more trouble, in my opinion. I feel Stone like him to death of. in the streets, right? Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm not well, opposed to it, but <laughs> no, um, I don't think there should be any legal ramifications. There's already no. punishment if you're married, but there should be social ramifications. Whereas I feel like there's so many songs out there that kind of glorify it. And there's so many TV shows that glorify it. Um, it's like, God, you wonder why it's happening so much is because there's really no social ramifications. To well. People. I can tell you why it's happening. Um, hmm. I don't think there should be any kind of... I don't think there should be anything negative unless you're married. I mean, there already is. I mean, you lose half your shit. There's an infidelity clause in most marriages. So, yeah. like, that's a thing. Look at Jeff Bezos. 
his wife's the richest lady on the earth now. That's so crazy. <laughs> that, that like that, so that's 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 part of it. I mean, you you already getting punished, but that's marriage. That's different. <clears throat> yeah, I think you if you're get punished a girl, even if you don't cheat. I think if you're dating a girl for two weeks and then you like smash somebody else, you shouldn't be like dragged in the street and killed. Well, that's um, different though. I mean, it's not really that serious at that point. It's I mean that I mean you give a very specific example of two weeks. I mean it depends on what you where you've established your relationship at that point. I mean right. if you've established that you guys are gonna just be seeing each other and you decide, Oh, I'm gonna go, you know, smash this other chick as you just said. <laughs> smash them. You should let them know and then let them decide how they want to keep going. That's true. But if you That's hold true. it as a secret, obviously you've done something wrong because you don't oh. want them to know. Yeah. Of course. Fuck no. those people. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, this is the thing. I believe long-term marriages, in my opinion, because in my case, like, everybody on Earth, all our friends were like, I can't believe this happened. Like, you guys were perfect. Like, we finished each other's sentences. Mm -hmm. We had the same thought process. We liked the same stuff. We were like, we were like, it was like we were related. It was weird. You know, yeah. we were that, we clicked that much. And even when I didn't, if I don't see her for six months, which I don't see her anyway, but if I didn't, if she came over to my house right now and hung out with me and we watched TV, we would bounce off each other back and forth like we, like we, like didn't skip a beat. That's just how we are. We, we clicked that well. So I, I was shocked, as you can imagine. Yeah. So that was sucked. But I think the, I don't think long term relationships like that can exist anymore in our current, our current uh, phase of humanity without it being forced. And the reason I say that is, because um, the age of the internet, social media, and information is one second away. One click away. Okay? You can have anything you want within your means of finances with one click away. I got a loan for my stock car by clicking two things, man. <laughs> two things! And, like, you can look up anything you need. Oh, what is that actor's name? Ba -ba 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 -ba. No, done. What is this? Oh, I sneezed once. What? what, what, what okay, it's this. You know, my car's fuel pump. Maybe, maybe it died. But, 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 oh, look, I got another one. You can do anything at in one second. It's all at your fingertips through this goofy ass thing right here. So that the thing is, the only thing you can't do, and you can start relationships that way too in one second. The only thing you cannot do is fix a problem in your relationship. And if you're four, five, six years in, and you start feeling strange. Which it's hard. Relationships are hard. Instead of working on it, because that's what people used to do. My mom told me, like, there's been plenty of times she wanted to leave my dad. And she's so glad she didn't because they worked on it. Yeah. Because she didn't, she wasn't happy anymore. And that's what my ex-wife told me. She's like, I'm not happy anymore. She's like, so bye. And I think instead of fixing it in our generation, in our current state of the world, we grow up. We don't, instead of trying to fix something, because it actually takes effort and we're not used to that. It's not one click away. We can't fix it in one second, so we're we're done. And that's the, the, like fixing a relationship, a long term relationship. You can only be done through months of like patience and working. And humans do not understand that anymore. I I agree that there are a lot of shitty people like that. I agree there are a lot of lazy people because that's exactly what that is is laziness. Yeah. Um, but I still think that there are a lot of people that want to have a long-term relationship they do like want to work hard on it. i am yeah. too i am i'm exactly yeah that's why i'm like, that's why i think there are other people out there we're like that there must be others you know what i mean and you, i just think unfortunately and i unfortunately have been with people that are lazy pieces of shit but i still think that it is you know i think it's it's still something that can happen during right. this generation you just have to find that right person you have to find somebody who puts in the work the effort i mean look we both have YouTube channels. Those aren't things that just sprout up overnight. That takes yeah. months and months and months and years to grow and take care of and work on. And we put in time and effort into so many different facets of our life. I mean, you work out six hours a day. I think there are lots of people out there that are like that, but there are definitely the insanely lazy people. But I would argue that that is not just our generation. I feel like that's been a thing forever. Right. Even right. though... It seems easier. Yeah, we have access to information more than anyone, but I don't think the relation, the ease of getting into a relationship like that, I think that's always been a thing when bars existed. As right. soon as bars became a thing and members of the opposite gender or same gender or whatever, it doesn't matter. We're just, we're talking about 
SOs here, whatever. You, whenever you can go to a place with other people and have alcohol and just start a relationship randomly, I think it was always easy. I think it was right. always something that could happen. Yeah, you can just get on Tinder now, even if you're in a relationship. Yeah. And you can cheat immediately. <laughs> but, I mean, phones have existed forever. Right. You could easily just get a phone number from somebody while you're at the grocery store. You could get it yeah. while you're out and about. You could get it while you're at the gym. So there are plenty of other ways that I feel like people cheated on each other back then because they were right. too lazy to fix the relationship they were in right. at that point. And I don't I don't know. I, I don't think there's any way we can unfortunately it'd be interesting to see it like statistical analysis yeah of, you, it's not something you can quantify it's no. just ever informate it's just so information not only the relationships but any kind of information is so readily available whereas you would probably have to go to a library in the 60s or 70s we can do it anything right at our fingertips and think about it this way okay so uh i'm becky my name's becky i'm a female it's 1978 yeah i can go to the bar I can go to the near Piggly Wiggly, son. I see a cute guy. Maybe I talk to him. I'm already married. Whatever. Do I put in the work to go talk to him? Now, I'm Becky. Or, well, my name is my name is Rebecca now. And mm-hmm. it's it's 2021. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm, I'm already married. I'm kind of unhappy. We've been married for six years. I'm unhappy. Um, I'm going to download Tinder for fun. Just for fun to kind of swap through people. A week later, I have 870 matches. And a bunch of these guys are wealthy and have abs. But still, I'm married. You know, I'm. I, but it's still for fun. Some of them start messaging me. Quick pause. Would you consider that cheating? Because I already would. If yes. I was with somebody and they downloaded Tinder, I'd be like, okay, we're done. Yes. Like, if you are interested in other people right now, we're done. Like, I'm not but wasting you would, my time. You wouldn't know. That, that's the yeah. point. But... um. But then 10 guys or 100 guys start messaging her, me, Rebecca, and two of them are extremely interesting, extremely attractive, and you're connecting with, and you haven't felt like you've connected with your significant other in a long time. Suddenly, your your mind frame completely changes, and it, you feel completely different about that other person. And that's when everything flips on his damn head. And then you go hang out with Tyler. Damn it. Uh, you're, yeah, your name's not Tyler. Thank God. I was thinking of King Prince. <laughs> I was like, "Oh damn!" I just no. So you go, you go, you you go hang out with Austin, <laughs> and Austin's got a rippling six pack. You connect with him. Oh, oops, smashed him. But like, and you and then you you leave your husband, and then you stop talking to Austin a month later because he sucks after a month. Not you, Austin. <laughs> I like how you I do. don't use my name. <laughs> Good, that's not your name. Let me use your name now. <laughs> no. And then after a month, he's just another basic dude, and you didn't see it on the surface. And then now you left your husband. But I would argue I, that that same sort of interaction could happen. It could. Back then, because back then, we're acting like it's effort to go talk to people. That's different. That's a generation. Right. Thing. We're weird about talking to other people. And I feel like back then, whatever her name, Becky or whatever, yeah. would have had no problem talking to that guy like it was... Not out of the ordinary at all. People just talked all the right. time. They would just randomly make friends and meet new people. She's on like the subway or the bus or whatever. She's yeah. meeting all these different people. And one of those interactions, yeah, the number on the screen is still a higher number. Yeah, it's more, you know, convenient to have it on here. But I would still argue that it's just as easy and just as possible in that other scenario. Right, As and it it's people. Today. I say it's people that generally wouldn't do it normally. Oh, I see. Because what you, mean. you have somebody that's socially awkward; they don't want to get engaged in a conversation. And then you have people that say that. That's why I said they want to download Tinder just for fun and just to swap through people and see how funny it is. And then it's a slippery slope, and it keeps happening. And then they start talking to people, and then they hang out with a guy like to get coffee as a friend. And that it's everything starts changing. This is my particular experience, by the way. Oh, I got you. Three months later. After this guy's no longer interesting, you know. That's why it's so specific. <laughs> yeah. That's why so. Then, you know, your significant other wants to come back and move back in. It's like, oops, I made a mistake. This is terrible. I'm stupid. And then you've already moved on at that point. So, yeah. like, that's that's the situation. Like, it's just so accessible. And we're yeah. so used to fixing things. You can fix things so fast. Your power goes out in 1968. You got to go wait till Monday to go down the power place. No. If your power go, if my power went out right now, I could call an 800 number. 
and they, I'd be on hold for a second. And they'd be like, okay, your outage has been noted. And then my power would be on like maybe in like 30 minutes or like in a couple hours, maybe max. Mm-hmm. Right? So that's, it's just, you can fix things so fast. And I feel like when you run into a situation now with our current aged people like me and everybody else, if you're not that kind of person that was raised in a certain way, I mean, I, my mom and dad are still married. So like, Mine I are divorced, but right. like I'm I, still the type that works on it. Right. I'm, I'm, I like to, when I put time into something, I don't like to throw it away, man. So like, um, I believe on, I believe in, you know, putting effort. If you want to be in a relationship, you put effort into it. And, um, I feel like the vast majority of people aren't really like that. And the only reason that, that it's so more, it's so much cheating happens so much more often is because people will have that thought process where they, they don't want to do it, but then they start downloading apps just for fun. And then it's a slippery slope. As soon as they've made that account, I feel like they've already committed to right. cheating. And like, I agree. It's and already see, happened. So my ex-wife, she like downloaded Tinder. I was in Las Vegas. And she downloaded Tinder and she she told me about it. And you know, we were like, we're, like, we're so damn close and so... She told you she did that? Yeah. So um, she said her and her friend downloaded Tinder. And I, I like, dude, I'm like, I, you know, I, on the surface, I'm like, what, you know, kind of what? But like... We're so close, and I, we trust each other so hardcore um, that I'm like, and c- c- keep in mind, before this point, there was no warning. It wasn't like a things got weird for a while. It was instant. I, it was a day, and it was gone. It was over. Wow. One day, I was like, "Hey, baby, what you want for dinner?" And she's like, "I don't love you." And I was like, wow. "What?" It was that fast, man. It was crazy. I've never experienced anything like that in my life. It was like a tornado on a sunny day, son. It was crazy. Anyways, um, she downloaded Tinder. And, um, like she's matching with people, obviously. And, uh, she told me this was after she had left. She told me, um, she matched with the guy and she talked to him and like, you know, they, they talked on the phone a little bit and they were connecting really well. And then she noticed it. And then mm. after she noticed it, her feelings for me completely 180. She like, she didn't, she knew that there was options available. That was not me anymore. And she felt something new that was not me it was something new that she hadn't felt in a long time. So it's people exciting. Are, some and people she, are fickle, yeah. And, and she acted on that impulse, and she shouldn't have. Man, yeah. she, she'll admit today that she shouldn't have. But it's already over. So. Yeah. It, it's just, some people lack the willpower. Some people constantly look, where's the grass greener? And you always think it's, it's over there. This is where the yeah. grass is greener. This is where it is. And you keep getting there, and it's not exactly what you thought it was. Yep. But it's too late. And uh, that's the deal, man. I'm jaded as hell. So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> now I'm like, I don't know, man. I just, the relationships. Uh, You're like, been there, done that. Yeah, I'm like, I just don't see it. I, I read a lot of stuff, man, after this to try to understand what happened. And yeah. it all sucked, the things I read. <laughs> so it's like, like, uh, do I, I don't, I just don't feel like it's like, do I do this another eight years? Like, do I chance this another eight years and like, cause I don't want to ever be in that position again. That was rough. Like that, like there yeah. was like a, there was like a, it was like a two weeks later period where I didn't, I probably, there was a chance I shouldn't have made it past a certain day. Like, so I do, I ever want to be in that situation again? I don't think so. And like, is it worth it? Like, I don't know. That's, it's, that's kind of the question that arrival post posed. Um, right. Is it worth because that's the thing. It's a really depressing but realistic way to look at things. Every yeah. single thing in your life is future sadness. Literally everything ends. Yeah. Every single thing is final. But is it worth having that happiness in between that time? That's that's up to you. I mean, whenever you get a dog, that dog is going to die. You are yeah. buying future sadness. You are going to love that dog. You're going to hang out with that dog all the time. It's going to be your best friend. At some point, you are going to be incredibly depressed. That dog is going to die. But you know what? You had those times together. You will remember that dog forever. And I, I think it's worth it. I think it's always worth trying again. And, and from what I see from my perspective, I don't have the same perspective as you. Right. I haven't gone through exactly that. I mean, I've had my first two relationships I was cheated on. Very first two. My entire life. Like, that's yeah. how I that's how I was introduced to what a relationship was. Yay me. But I still decided, you know what? 
this can't be it. You know right. what I mean? Like this can't be the only thing that's out there. There can't just be everyone's a cheater. So I I just stuck with it. And yeah, I had trust issues. I still have self esteem issues. Um, but I still think it's it's worth trying to find that happiness again. Yeah. And enjoying it until it inevitably will end at some point. Either one of you dies or the relationship doesn't work out. Anything can right. happen. But I think it's worth the risk, in my opinion. See, and I don't know. Like, I don't know. I can't answer that question. I don't know if it is. And you don't because, have to answer that right away. Like, it's, like, it's, you know, we we were together when we were teenagers, and yeah. I was almost damn 30 when she left. And yeah. my 20s are gone now. We bought a house. I moved hours away from my family. I, yeah. I, live, in, I live in a place that is very... It's not new to me, but it's it's not where I grew up. I don't. I live here alone, you know, other than Tiny, which is a, a friend I made like way after, and um, like I live in the same house. Like and I, like I bought this house like with her, and mm-hmm. she draw she she doesn't have any ties to the past. Like she moved, she got it, but blah, she doesn't. I even have her cat still. Mm-hmm. Like she even and this is after the fact. She was like, "Hey, can you take my cat? My boyfriend's allergic to this cat," and I'm like, "I, I guess I'll take." my cat and um like that's the thing it's you know eight years and then it was just over and yeah. like for no reason like yeah. the, and it, well she didn't like cheat on me for as far as i know i mean she downloaded the stuff or whatever but like she never like went and did anything like and then it was just over it was so fast so yeah like i don't know like i don't know like i don't feel like like in my current i don't think it is right now because Although the memories were great, I guess. I don't know. I like, can't even remember any of it. It's weird. Um, mm. But, like, the ending was so bad. Like, yeah. it was... And she wasn't She wasn't mean. What she was, she... As soon as she told me, like, it was over, she was really mean to me for a long time. She was just not nice to me anymore. Um, I would see her in passing, and she just wouldn't... She would, like... It was almost like a popular girl looking at me when I was a nerd. She'd be like, she'd brush me off and be like, get out of my face. And I'm like, what's happening? Mm-hmm. So, um, but that's not what I'm talking about. The ending was so bad. And I'm like, I don't think it's worth it because. It's so sudden. Yeah. I shouldn't have, like, there was, like I said, there was a point where I didn't think I was going to survive it. And I don't want to go through that again because <laughs> what if I don't survive at that time? So, um, it's just, I don't know. Um, it was, it was too long. It should have happened way before that because I was too invested and it was too long. So um, I don't know. The future, the future is bright. I'm just gonna, con- I'm just gonna continue doing what I'm doing though. Um, that's if the best can, thing. If you can take solace in anything, at least just think about everything that has happened in your life has brought you to this point. Maybe exactly. Maybe if something else, if that had not happened, we might not be sitting here talking about this. Right. You might not be a full time YouTuber. You might still be working in some retail job. You might have some job that you hated. Who knows? You know. But because everything lined up that way, you're incredibly happy with life now. You can go to the gym for right. six hours a day. You can work on your stock car, your Jeep. You live with a friend. I mean... Yeah, and that's the cool thing is like, that's what yeah, I think about great. all the time. If I ever get down about anything, like I think, or if anything of the past like that, I think, well, if none of that happened, I wouldn't be where I am right now. Exactly. And I even told her that. like, And this was a, um, this was like probably in October maybe. I sent her like a big ass email and I was like, Hey, like, I just want to thank you. Like for everything that we went through together, like made me such a better person because when she left, I had to learn how to do a lot of stuff. Like I, all the bills were like, she kind of handled all that. Mm. I had to do everything myself. I like had to become a, a full fledged mother, like a full fledged guy, like an adult, like, yeah. like I had to do it all. I was forced into it, which is fine. And it made me a much better person. I was much more driven because I wanted, I wanted to, I was driven because I wanted to show her, like that I'm like I'm much more capable. Like, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to show her that like you may not be here, but like I can make make it on my own in a big ass way. That's why I actually started doing YouTube. It's right after she left and I started doing like little tiny videos here and there and then like a year later it exploded or six months later. Yeah. Um But that's when and so I sent her that email and I was like, Hey, thank you. You we, this is this is all because of you. And it wasn't mean at all. It's not condescending. Like I was like, Hey, like you made me a better person. So I appreciate that. Um, so like, that's what I think's awesome. Yeah, that's good. That's trying it. To look, trying to spin things in a positive light. Right. is always the, the best way to go for sure. It's not always easy. 
Nope. <laughs> no. It is very much easier said than done. That's for damn sure. Yeah. Man, I hit a somber note there. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the uh, that's the the moral of the podcast. Everything's easier said than done. Yeah. Try to spin everything in a positive manner. Try to be as as positive you can without being like overly positive. Yeah. Because there are a lot of people out there that are like like Jimmy Fallon. I feel like is a great example of way too positive. Yeah, like, you got to just... be cautiously optimistic. Be happy, but not a psychopath. Right. <laughs> <laughs> or just be a psychopath. Well, there you go. Easy you know, peasy. I mean, it'll be easier for you, not everyone else around you, but you know. Yeah, murder some folk. Be right. <laughs> Become the new serial killer. Oh, giant God. ball man. We just got canceled again. <laughs> <laughs> we just got the giant got ball canceled. slasher. We keep you finding just, one pube in their mouth. The giant ball <laughs> slasher? <laughs> They find God. one pube in their victim's mouth every time. Oh, he just tea bags them like it's hair yeah, afterwards. Oh man, that's how they die. Asphyxiation from the balls. <laughs> <laughs> Choke on my ball. Yeah, that's uh, the canceled T- times four. Canceled, just so many times canceled during this. Podcast. The great thing is we're not big enough that anybody will notice what we say. <laughs> it's a good point. Yeah, that's the thing about this podcast. One day, it's did you hear me. this? Did you hear Camelot said he's gonna ball some people and put his balls in their mouth? As, I as don't know who as, that is. Yeah, right. Done. I don't know what, huh? We're not canceled. Fine, we're good. Yeah, as soon as us, as soon as one of us gets big, we're gonna be like, hey. Oh, dude, we're screwed. Yeah, six million. I'm gonna be like sitting there one day in my Ferrari with my six million subs. I'm like, mm, yeah, I'm going to pick up Hootie Pie. We're going out to the club. Mm. Like, <laughs> and then like, so I'm gonna see a tweet, and it's like uh, Camelot says uh, he uh, puts balls in people's mouths, and he's a new serial killer. And he's telling people to be a new serial killer. And he doesn't like the left or the right. And at this oh point in time, God. and at this point in time, one of them's like become so like godly yep. and morally superior or something. I don't know what's gonna happen. They're so, gonna <laughs> remotely turn off your Ferrari. Did you hear that he hated Joe Biden or something or Trump? Yeah, right. Or both. He's gonna Joe Biden is gonna be like that's so funny. That's such a funny thought. Like in the the future, like Joe Biden is hooked up to like you know Palpatine. He's like hooked up <laughs> oh, to God. the big like machine thing, <laughs> and he's like kept alive. And all this shit and baby foreskin. Going through Google foreskin. search engines and shit. He's got like baby foreskin machines feeding him life. And he's just in this <laughs> this thing and he's like, good to He me. sees it. Camelot. <laughs> I saw it. I felt it in my Google search engine. Camelot. I felt it through my leg hairs <laughs> that he was talking about me back in 2020. We're Killing him. find him. Put a bullet in him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is, I don't know. That's You just play both sides. I love yeah. them both, man. <laughs> you please love them me. both. Please don't kill I'll vote for both of you. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> you both have my vote. <laughs> Send me I'll two just... mail-in ballots. It'd be great. I'll bubble in both. I can be... It would be fine. <laughs> Did you... Who'd you vote for? Both. Both. <laughs> I don't choose Can't sides. Tell. Wait, hold on. It's, I'm, I talked to him for a second. They'll be like, who did you vote for? I'm like, I don't know. Uh, what are you... Uh, are you like pro-life? Or are you... Uh, <laughs> do you like the BLM stuff? Are you down with that? <laughs> Whether they say yes or no is my answer. Oh, yep. Joe Biden, all day. I love him. He's no, great. Totally, yeah. Yeah, I didn't even care he said the N-word. It was great. I like that, actually. <laughs> no, I like, uh, like, <laughs> I like how really You got canceled again. You got canceled again. <laughs> canceled again. Damn it, son. <laughs> Why don't you stop me before I say stuff? No. I don't know. We'll see. That's going to be exciting. Watch it. I guarantee that'd be hilarious. That Two be years really from now. Six this million subs. This is it. They're and they're going to play this clip. They're going to play this clip after the clip that they canceled you for. Yeah, they're only going to play the one. They're going to play the yeah. one. I love that he said the N-word. Done. That's it. Con- <laughs> that's all I was going to say. Three seconds. I, it's my favorite word. <laughs> yeah. I wake Cancel. up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Cancel. No context. And I'll be yeah. like, hey, can, can you guys play the whole clip? And they're like, nope. Nope. That's it. <laughs> oh, damn. That's it. Rest you in peace. You just said you love the N-word and you say it every day. <laughs> Hell. <laughs> Well, I'll see y'all in the future. YouTube canceled. <laughs> yeah. Sponsors pulled from me. Thank God I got like $50 million. Uh, Hell yeah. It's like, wait, I got to pay taxes on that because I have to pay 90% now? Fuck! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn it, I only got $5 million now. What am I going to do with that? <laughs> Can't even buy Pepsi with that right now. Yeah, right. Inflation just goes so <laughs> Yeah, this high. is 2022, right? Incent- yeah, we're screwed. Like, there's a vending machine. You just like take a big wad of cash and just <laughs> shove it in there. It's like a money roll. You just drop it in the tank. Tink, 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 tink. Give me some. Give me a Pepsi, please. It's yeah, like Venezuela. It's like, a, it's like a wrapped up drug roll of money. Yeah, it's literally Venezuela. 
That's us. Yep. That's that's it's gonna be us. We're <laughs> hey, I I want a piece of gum. That'll be seven thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sucks. Damn, that five million back then would have taken me far. Dude, I'm gonna sell my stock car for like ten million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> All original, baby. I could buy All a loaf original. of bread now. <laughs> Thank God. I'm a dime for that white bread. It's been so long. And I mean white bread, the the bread. The bread. Like, I, don't, it, <laughs> I don't like white people. <laughs> I, well, no, I like everybody. Shit. <laughs> Damn it. No. Canceled seven. Time seven. You probably shouldn't post this. <laughs> this is this is all. It's fine. It's I meant fine. the bread, please, God. It's I'll tweet out later. I meant the I meant bread. I meant bread. You just, that's it's what you like, should post. As soon as this goes up with no context, just say, I meant the bread. Yeah. It's like, it's like, <laughs> did you know there's gluten in that? And I'm like, oh, damn it. No. Canceled again. Canceled. We're not Son allowed to have gluten bitch. in the future. Fuck. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Don't say you like bacon. That's it. But yeah, <laughs> you can't eat meat products anymore in the future. You can't eat gluten. I will always eat steak, damn it. I don't care. You just got canceled. Yeah, steak's illegal in 2028. Canceled. Steak's illegal. <laughs> 2028, steak's illegal. Gonna bring up Eight this years from now. It's not even that far. Can't watch say he loves steaks, dude. Rip. Oh, God. I like a medium rare. Blood's illegal. Canceled. <laughs> canceled. You're not allowed to have blood anymore. We're all Everybody robots. Everybody got drained. We're a bunch of... We're, we're, filled with just, we're filled with, like, microchip juice. Microchip juice? And they can determine when you die or live. When you get sentenced to death, they just, like, push the button. You just explode. <laughs> they, just turn, they just hit the off button. You're just like... Go! <laughs> Done. <laughs> Damn it. Oh my Rest god. In peace. <laughs> Fucking Robo Biden. Yeah, Jesus. make sure you edit. You make make sure you he he heavily edit edit this. <laughs> I don't think we said anything bad, honestly. <laughs> what? Oh god. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I've said a lot worse stuff. Eric said, said a lot worse stuff. I said I don't support either either candidate. That's fine. 50% of I people think are going to hate both of those things, which means 100% of people are going to hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I've literally been like, dude, I've literally tweeted that before. I'm like, both political parties suck. They're Look both you, corrupt. tweeted already. They know. No one's going to watch They're this. both millionaires, guys. And then somebody will comment and they'll be like, yeah, but Trump sucks. And I'm like, are you retarded? <laughs> you <not laughs> what are you doing? Like, <laughs> Reread my damn tweet, son. <laughs> yeah, but Trump, though. It's like, dude, they, dude, Biden, though. Dude. He's his him and Epstein are like bros, yeah. and so is Trump. They're all they're all bros. They're all three bros. Wait, Biden was with Epstein too? I don't know. Probably. I don't know. No. He's too old to get on the plane. <laughs> yeah, he probably. <laughs> yeah, they don't make Viagra like that. Yeah, I think something would have slipped out in one of his dementia speeches. They don't make that kind of Viagra. It's that's like super Viagra. Super Viagra. They ain't nothing helping that. <laughs> his junk probably fell off. That's how old he is. He's got like a bicycle pump to get it up. He's just got like, it's like a oh direct. Oh my god! <laughs> I used to have a friend that is uh her his stepdad had one of those. It was like a it was like there was like a tube like in his testicles and he like had to squeeze the ball and it would make him erect because there was like a tube that went up his urethra to make him erect. Terrifying. What? I might have made that up. I don't know, <laughs> but I remember it. I remember it, man. It was intense. I like how you said it so confidently and then completely yeah. undermined all of it. I might have made all of that up. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, sometimes you think of stuff and it never happens. It's like the Mandela effect. That's true. Dr. Disrespect yeah. maybe never got banned. I don't even know. Did you remember it as Berenstein Bears or the Berenstein Bears? Uh, definitely Berenstein, and I don't know if that's right. Yeah. Is that right? <laughs> I think it's Stein. Oh, damn it. Those damn Steins, I'll tell you. I know, right? Oh, oh. Bastards. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's fun. Oh shit. That's that's the that's the the lesson of today's podcast episode. It's fine. Yeah, it's fun. It's fine. <laughs> that's that's it. Podcast episode 49, it's fun. There you go. Anything it's else fun. you want to cover before we uh head out? Hell no. Dude, we've said enough. We've said a lot. We this got is canceled this and... is the this is the 2025 canceled uh, podcast. Yeah, we got canceled in like 20 different timelines. It's pretty great. <laughs> so many timelines we've been canceled in now. Just all of them. Let's just hope nothing happens. Something's going to happen. I'm going to see it on Twitter in a year. So-and-so, so-and-so, so-and-so. And I'm like, oh, great. Um, I said that in a podcast <laughs> once. <laughs> Meat has been outlawed in the U.S. Oh, damn. I said I love medium rare steaks on the podcast. Damn Rest it. in peace. Canceled. Bread has been abolished. I said I liked white bread. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. 
the time my t- the mob will come for us all eventually there's nothing we can do it's true yep well it was nice having you here again <laughs> hope to have you in a future episode of the podcast unless we're both canceled um but Sounds hey if we're great. both canceled who cares we'll just we'll just keep trucking on anyway that's what yeah. seems to work for other people yeah work for PewDiePie Worked for Louis. Yeah. Well, Louis C.K. kind of. <laughs> yeah, he didn't work for him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he didn't get to be in Pets too, man. So, well, I mean, he, I like that. He he posted his special on uh, on his own website, and I guess made a shit ton of money. So I guess that still kind of worked out for him. Hey, man! If I, as long as you can get a Ferrari, who cares what people think? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, thanks everybody for watching. And this actually was episode 49. I just double-checked real quick. Ta! That was pretty funny. We got that it. That was pretty quick. I got it. There you go. And uh, uh, I hope you all have a fantastic day. Get on, dog on it. Rest in peace. See you guys. <laughs> <laughs> what?